Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Forest of Memories. I am Saru Quincaller, your guardian, your high remembrancer, and your arbiter. I hope you're all doing well this lovely, lovely Wednesday night. Tonight, it is EDF Wednesday. I will defeat. Blah, 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 blah. I will be deploying once again with Inu Kazane, who will be joining me on his first ever excursion into the world of EDF. We'll see how that goes for him as we get further and further. Before we begin, though, if you would like to be part of the Forest of Memories community, please click exclamation mark Discord in the chat, and you will gain access to our Discord. If you'd like to follow me on Twitter to know what the updates are, or just know how I'm doing, you can put exclamation mark social in the chat, and you can get a link to the Twitter there. And if you can't catch the streams live here at, at twitch.tv slash Zarukwincaller, if you can't catch the streams live, then we do have a VOD channel. You can hit exclamation mark YouTube, and you'll be given a link to our VOD channel where all of our video, all the VODs of the streams go up about a week after they've gone live, all together at once. So never miss a video. Mm. Now, I should say... Inu has been going for almost 10 hours today, so cut the raptor some credit. I was a little worried that he may not be able to put up much, uh, you know, energy. I mean, after all, he's been going for 10 hours. I tried to tell him to take a break, but he refused to. So if he's a little worn out or a little drained and this stream seems like it's just me carrying everything and it seems it may even be shorter than usual, cut him some slack. I did have someone actually tell me that they're like, that's not fair. You shouldn't have to put up with that. It's supposed to be a collab. If he's going to collab with you, he should be prepped for that. Stop that shit. Enough, okay? There's no need for that. Inu streams as long as he wants to. He's the one who does. He takes the risks. He has to set the cautions. Sorry, precautions. All of that. So don't give him any flack, all right? We'll play as long as, you know, the three-hour limit. If he can tough it out, great. If not, oh well. Regardless, this is all about introducing a new player to EDF, and he's a good player. I mean, after all, we've seen what the spiders have done to him. I do wonder how he'll react when we meet the bigger ones, but that's for another time. Regardless, be nice to the raptor, sit back, make yourselves at home. Oh, and don't forget, Tomorrow, uh, if all things go according to plan, will be more Ghost Recon Breakpoint with uh, Niall. And then Friday, big deal here. Friday, yours truly, who is not a horror game guy, will be playing through, um, well, we'll be playing through the new Dead Space remake. So if you want to see me get the shit scared out of me, show up for that. Uh, Gilmon, what happened to the boss monster? Reading? Sorry, Gilmon, that is on, uh, that's only with collabs with Azzy and other furries. Sorry, bud. That's not doing the normal streams. That's only for Azzy and other furries. So, you know, that's only for, like, when, uh, when Azzy or other people's magic affects me. Sorry. We still have all the other redeems, though, and we've got plenty to work with. So, with that, let's jump all over, jump right on over the game, shall we? I've delayed long enough. The EDF must deploy! That, um, hi, Inu. That is a, um, uh, <laughs> that's all I hear. That's all I hear. <laughs> that's all I hear is just a pop, 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 pop. Just, yeah, I, I, I came here. I came a little bit early to listen to the thing. But that's a, that doesn't matter. Yeah. I am going to be pulling fruit, but I am going to be a little bit quiet because it is very late where I'm at. So. True. I'm not gonna like overreact like I did because you know yeah. I have neighbors and stuff yeah, like that. So I will apologize for not like well, reacting hey, like if that. You need, but... If you need to freak the fuck out, you may. Just don't do it loudly. Also, someone in my chat says I only hear Pac-Man when I see that uh that uh that talking animation. Waka 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 waka. What can I say? I have hypnotism, but before anything, <clears throat> hello everybody. Name's Zenu. And I'm a variety streamer as well. I try to play a lot of different games, but I usually just go back to Binding of Isaac because funny, funny baby game. <laughs> I wouldn't exactly call it a baby game, but it is, again, it's a fallback game. There's this nothing wrong the with lobby. that. Here you yeah. Can join uh, let me just place. exit out of mm -hmm. crowd control. And for those who in Enu's chat who don't know me, hi, I'm Zaruk Windcaller. I'm also a variety streamer. 
And oh, wait, wait. So, can you repeat? Sorry, Discord is disabled. Oh. Let me enable that real quick. And there you go. Hmm. Hello, everyone in Inu's chat. I'm Zaruk Windcaller. I'm a variety streamer, just like Inu, and I'm the lord of the forest of memories. We play games that have uh, strong memory connections to me and to my community. Um, and EDF is one of those games that I'm very close with. And when Inu said that he'd never played EDF, I was like, ah, yes, another for the uh, another for the battlefield and for the t and for the spider pit. So. Yeah, uh, by the way, Zaruk, I hope you don't mind, but I got two of my viewers who want to join in. Is that okay? That is totally fine. I will just need, um, let me know, uh, mm. I don't think they're gonna be in a Discord call. They're just gonna be in mm. the chat. Okay, well, regardless, I'm going to need a, um, I'm gonna, oh, they're not gonna be in the chat. Okay. Uh, in the future, just give me a heads up next time so I can prep for that. Um, but yeah, yeah we my, should be fine. Bad. Uh, just my let bad. me, oh, just let me know when they're ready. Mainly because, uh, since we weren't able to really do the whole, like, you know, join off of each other thing, I need to know when they're going to be here so I can open the room, and then they can jump in before other people can. So, yeah, just let me know but when they're I, ready. Let me tell one, uh, um, the other right now. I will, I did, I'm going to have all this. That completely slipped my mind after today's Nintendo Direct, which was hype as heck. Yeah, I love what Thomas says. Recruiter. Sir, it says here this soldier's a raptor and they have no prior ex military experience. Commander, to the front lines. <laughs> to the front <laughs> lines. Meat shield. Mm. Don't you still raptor as a major? <laughs> I mean... You're the meat shield. The girls are the secret weapon. True. I mean, you get scared by spiders, and those two are giant. We can literally send them out to fight the giant monsters rather than the robot. That is true, but at the same time, uh, so Blaze and Inubel are, you know, currently just got out of bed after watching oh, the direct. That's true. Uh, and yeah, for though Inu's right. For those who didn't see the direct, uh, let's see. Metroid Prime 1 Remastered, yes. Uh, we finally have a reveal date for the Advanced Wars uh, 1 Plus 2 Reboot Camp. Pikmin 4, let's see, we know, we now have a release date for Tears of the Kingdom. What else did we get? Um, got a Baten lot Kaito. Baten Kaito. Baten Kaito. Uh, we now know Tales of Symphonia is coming to Switch, which will be great. Um, yeah. We know that if you have a Nintendo Switch Online expansion, uh, Game Boy Advance games are now coming, which means Golden Sun, Minish Cap, a uh, ton of cool games like that. So, oh yeah. I, now, I'm now, super. I'm super excited, but I'm still not gonna pay eighty bucks a year for the Nintendo Online Pass. Oh, I only play. I only pay the sixty thing. I only pay sixty a year because I want the N64, the Super Nintendo. And uh, that kind of stuff, because that's how I finally played Earthbound and beat it. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, my my reason is that I don't not gonna pay for those. It's because uh, I played the family plan because I'm I just want my friends to enjoy the games I enjoy I agree. too. Anyway, uh, are your friends ready? They have not replied, so let's just you and me start. All right. Uh, let me search for a room. Uh, I just hold on. Let me open it. Okay, the room is created. It's the same as last time. Zaruk and Inu. Alright, and this is level 11. The mothership is launching flying drones that appear to be targeting people indiscriminately. They act as terrifying slaughter machines that never tire, and they must be stopped before they eliminate all the civilians. Let me... Uh, mute voice chat. There we go. Yeah. So um, I think we finished that one, or we stopped. No, that we one? stopped here. Uh, a yeah. tip: you're gonna want anti-air weapons here, so rockets. If you have any like fast-firing rockets, uh, sniper rifles are good. Fast-firing missiles, if you have them, I doubt you do at level four. So rockets are probably gonna be better. Um, Choose loadout. It'd be great if I had my nagling self-propelled rocket launcher, but I don't. So. I, I I played a little bit of EDF uh, solo, and oh my god, Air Raider is stupid. Yeah, it, it is very stupid, but you gotta love it. I, I, I'm gonna play as Air Raider. Oh, okay. Then I'll switch to Ranger. Fair enough. I've got some good weapons for this anyway, so... Rangers can equip two weapons. Choose 
Choose loadout. See, do I have any Rangers good missile launchers? Uh... Also, hey, Sarge, how you doing? One of my friends who are currently in the chat uh, is excited because they can finally play Advance Wars. This yes, finally. Don't. I, I, I'm. I was mostly high for Pikmin. Like when I saw Bante Kaito, I literally started hitting my chair with excitement. Yeah. I'll do, hey, I will do my best, Keldrick. Don't die and kill five plus bugs at once during the next mission. Well, here's the thing. I won't die, but um, as for don't kill, as for kill five plus bugs, joke's on you, there are no bugs in this mission. Deploying. So, uh, ha <laughs> ha. There's no bugs? Nope, just Damn. robots. Just robots. I can't believe that they sent, they sent a robotic insectatoid. Yeah, these, oh, are the, these are the these are the Mark One robots. Uh oh. Yeah. Minor spoilers there, but yeah, these are the Mark One robots. We're gonna we're gonna get to the Mark Five, aren't we? No, there's like Mark Two. All right. I am gonna uh, drop this. To save our Mother Earth from any alien attack From vicious giant insects who have once again come back We'll unleash all our forces, we won't cut them any slack The EDF deploys Okay, I'm throwing this! Bang! Heavy machine gun! Heavy machine gun! Rocket launcher! Rocket launcher! Flamethrower! Enemy chaser! Yeah. Shotgun! Or the one me and my friend, or the one that I don't know which one this one's from, but I like it. Oh, big! I don't uh, know. That's, what... that's from Metal Slug, too. Anytime that you. Uh, actually, that's all from Metal Slug. Anytime that you consume a bunch of food, the character has the chance to turn really fat. Okay. Uh, I also saw that Metal Slug had a lot more, like, cool games that I never played. Yeah, most really of really wish the... that they yeah. were more available over here. Yeah, but, you know... Hmm. Like, um, if you watch the near the end of the Direct, that, uh, weird baseball game that, you know, that was made by Konami, that's, uh, Power Pros. That had a, uh, an MLB version, two of them, that came out on the Wii, but it's normally a Japanese-only game, so. Like, it's based yeah. off, like, the Japanese baseball league, whatever it's called. I don't know. It, it, it actually has, like, RPG elements from my own. Yes, it does. Or... You can actually play a career mode where you play as yourself. And, like, well, at, oh, least, in the, at least in the Wii version. You could play as yourself. You'd go through college and, like, do all this RPG stuff to, like, become either the coach of a team or, like, a professional player. You could also do some BS, like, going right from, uh, like, college. Oh. Yeah, I'd stay away from that. Like, doing some crazy stuff, like, getting right out of college and joining a, joining a major league team, which is basically impossible, if I recall correctly. You have to play in the minor leagues first. But... Bro, I, I gotta say, this game is, like, the type of game I always want to play with my friends. Yeah. It's so much fun. Imagine, like, imagine there's a crowd control mod for this game. I, like, yeah, that, I don't want to imagine that, actually, because that would be insanity. Don't worry, I got this! Just start playing, uh... Just hold out for the Naglings. The Naglings self-propelled rocket launchers are on the way. When they get here, they're gonna make, they're gonna shred the drones. No, my, my, my metal slug, how dare thee! There's a weapon box behind you. I got it. All right. Careful Air that... raid incoming! Where did you throw that? Uh... Oh, okay, we're good. Nice. What 
fire is burning, the robots do nothing. To save up our from the alien attack. Vicious giant insects who have once again Good. come back. We unleash all our forces, we won't cut them any slack. D D D D D deploys. I have been having that uh, song stuck in my head. I even sing it in what's it called? Uh, at work. What? When whenever we get a Russian customer, I go. <laughs> yeah. It's again. It's catchy. And then EDF Five butchered it by adding a new one. Like it's different. I mean, it's okay, but I think Four Point Ones is more catchy. All right. Since the since the missile launchers are wiping out all the drones, now we pick up the boxes. If you hear all those right pinging now. sounds, that's the uh, that's the rockets, the uh, missile launchers locking onto everything. I can't wait to get more ridiculous weapons. Oh yeah. I I saw the Russian Badger play this. I'm like, oh my god, this game. Oh because my so, god. So there's Ranger, Air Raider, uh, Air. Uh, sorry, there's Ranger, Air Raider, uh, Wing Diver, and don't look him in the eye. Look him in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Day of the Demons. Ravager transport ships are flying over the city. They must intend to drop more aliens on the population. Head out and protect the civilians from attack. Alright, are we at level... F yes, we're at level 5 now, so if you have any level 5 equipment, you can deploy that. Oh, I can. That is true. Uh... Choose loadout. Rangers can equip Sally, I don't have anything over here. Ooh, Death Crawler. Sounds also, fun. I... Oh, the Death Crawler's that spider thing with, like, the cannons on it. Also, I love the description for the flamethrower. It's a powerful flamethrower. Can burn giant insects to death. Like the adult version of holding up a magnifying glass. It's extremely effective in battle against multiple insects at once. Oh, that's great. I think I'm just gonna... No, not that. Right. I'll use this. Choose loadout. Yep. Rangers okay. Can equip two weapons. I am ready. Alright, hold on. Uh... Yeah, this will work. Deploying. Let's go. Oh, so Pikmin 4 is bringing back dungeons. I'm so excited about that. I know. Like, hmm. Pikmin is one of those games that people slept on for a while, but na but as more and more people discovered it, they realized, oh, wait, this is actually a really good game. I, I never played the first game. I played the second game. Yeah. That was my first game. And I, I just like the dungeons. I don't like how Pikmin 1 or 3 plays out. It was like, it's a collective fun thing. I don't like that. Yeah. I prefer, like... How they made it in Pikmin 2, you know, dungeons and stuff. Yeah. But night mode? Oh, that's gonna be interesting. That brought all of the giant insects here. They won't get away with it. To save our mother Earth from any alien attack. Understood. The enemy is close. Let's finish the job. Yes. Welcome to Astaria, I will not lie. The chances of your survival are small. You, s you play that when I'm running into a field of giant ants. Welcome to Astalia. <laughs> Welcome to Astalia, gentlemen. I will not lie. The chances of your survival are small. Hmm. Our soldiers are prepared for any alien threats. The Navy launches ships. The Air Force sends their jets. And nothing can withstand our fixed bayonets. The EDF deploys. Ow. Did I hit you by accident? No, I hit myself. How do I use the Gatling gun? Uh, should be, uh, oh, it's, um, click the mouse wheel. Middle mouse button. You have to hold it. 
Okay. Oh no, it's not middle a uh, middle mouse button. Middle for mouse me, make me make me wave a uh, wave dash. Okay, well it's uh, for me it's click and hold the mouse wheel, so I don't know what it is for you. I just like the fact that I'm literally overkilling these ants. Meanwhile, I'm over here just blowing up multiple ants with a rocket launcher and you talk to me about overkill. <laughs> I mean, it's the same thing with like... In six, it's also like how they described in Badger. Who sees giant insects and thinks, oh boy, I better grab my hammer. <laughs> One of my favorite jokes. Also, as you probably noticed, the black ants shoot acid now. Yeah, I um, thought it was honey. Yeah, it gets worse because on higher difficulties, they shoot like streams of it, not like small drops of it. It's like streams of it. Let's go! Ugh. I missed the dash button. It wouldn't be till EDF 5 where the Ranger could dash. Oh, he can dash on 5? Uh, in 5, yes, he can run really fast. And while you're dashing, your pickup range for items increases. Oh, that's cool. I am excited to play the other EDF games now. Hmm. Considering EDF six, which is supposed to come out in the come out in the West sometime this year, is a sequel to five. Yeah, you want to do that. Next game on my list, I'm gonna buy is EDF five, which I also have. So, because back when it's I like the arcade shooty game, I always enjoy. Yeah, I have. I'm like so tired of like Call of Duty. Yeah. I have 4.1 and 5, because 4.1 I played by myself, and then I found it when I started collabing it early on, when I started VTubing, everyone else had 5, and I'm like, okay, well, I have to get 5. Why aren't you calling in a bombing run on all these clustered ants? You know what? You're right. Bombing run incoming! The carnage is amazing. Blood for the blood god! Uh! Okay. Imagine like if if certain soldiers have like a like insectophobia where they just see any insect and they immediately just paralyze in fear. Oh some of them do. Like some of them literally like get scared whenever they see certain insects. Oh, that's cool. I mean, they'll still I guess fight. the wing divers are scared of spiders. Uh, spiders and a later, a later bug, yes. No, one of our teammates is dead! Well, thankfully, I'm a ranger, so if I'm nearby and I pick up a health kit, I will revive him. Oh, wait, no, he's, no, he's dead. He's not injured. He's dead. Never mind. Yeah, no, he he dead. I can't save him. Well, oh, I don't like I don't like how the camera looks here. Oh god. Take the whole build. Take the whole block down. Kill him. We did it, Patrick. We saved the city as we level. <laughs> Inu is a rook. <laughs> yeah, we did it, Inu. We saved the city. <laughs> uh. 
Okay. Ay ah. Thank God there's no fall damage. Yeah, thank God for that. No, the fall damage is dropping into a pit of insects and realizing that you are most undoubtedly, undeniably fucked. Yeah. Oh, by the way, Zaruk, later I want to show you something that uh, that's going to be worked on. Mm -hmm. uh. Thank you for clipping that, Cataclysm. My mod clipped the whole, we did it, Inu, we saved the city. Um, <laughs> mm. Enemy transport ships are continuing their drops and causing more damage. Our aircraft hadn't made a dent due to the transport ship's thick armor, but Intel may have a solution. We must attack through the open hatches when they make their drops, destroying them from the inside. The hatches are only accessible from the ground, so this mission is in your hands. Take long-range weapons and move out. I think I just gotta equip the power suit again. Can equip two weapons. You know, those may cost a lot of money to produce. I don't care! I don't care they cost money to produce! We're the EDF! We can spend as much money as we want! I mean, within reason, but yeah, you right, you right, you right. <laughs> it's like, hey, uh, I go to the EDM officer, hey, uh, sir, can I borrow that mech for a second? Why? I'm trying to impress a girl, gonna go on a date. Okay, soldier, but you better not bring it all scratched up. Next phase, it's like, what happened to the to the mech we let you borrow? Well, good I news blew is, it up. Yeah, good news, it's not scratched. Bad news is you're not getting it back. <laughs> Yeah, Inu. Hey, Zaruk, how much ammo you got left? Zaruk, yes. That doesn't answer my question. Yes, Cox RPG like a shotgun. <laughs> Fun fact, by the uh, way. Oh, wait, that reminds me. Fun fact, I'm sure everyone here is familiar with, like, the opening to Shadow of Shadow of the Hedgehog where he, like, pumps that submachine gun. Oh you know, my yeah, God. fun fact, uh, like it's an MP5 and he pumps it like a shotgun. Fun fact, uh, that version of the MP5, you do have to pump like a shotgun to get it to work. So they weren't, so it's not a meme, that was actually correct. Dude at the core! Got it. Hell yeah! Hell One yeah. enemy tank down! Hell yeah, brother. By the way, those things crashing on top of you don't hurt, so don't worry about it. We gotta save Cobra Joe. Now I'm just thinking of now I just have now I'm just thinking ki about Kiryu and uh and uh, Majima fighting insects. They're they're just beating they're beating them all with their fist. Well, considering like considering that uh that what was it that uh Yakuza zombie game is I think it's non-canon but yeah both Majima and Kiryu know how to use guns so. Got some ant behind me. Okay, I'm gonna throw a raid over that general area. Got it. Okay. Bomb and bomb incoming! Now, now I just have a dumb idea in my head. <laughs> yeah, you need to throw those bombing runs shorter. You uh, you missed, it went too far. Oh, okay. Yeah, the bombing run starts where the smoke is, and it goes forward. I just had a really dumb idea. What? I should commission a comic where it's like, Inu, we gotta use our special weapon, but they're not ready yet. Use it! Deploy tactical girlfriend. That's, yeah, I'd be cool with that. <laughs> just, yeah, um... Just Zaruk and Inu standing there is like, Inu, where's the secret weapon? She's not ready. We'll make her ready. And then yeah, cut to yeah, cut to giant girlfriend stomping on insects. I'm cool with that. You have you have my permission to use my likeness for that. I approve and I am okay with that. Hell yeah. We're off to save the world from giant insects. Oh no, it gets Use no, a you giant wife to stomp them all out. You know, the funny thing is the song gets more and more depressing as it goes on. Like, right, yeah. it gets really depressing. Um, yeah, because uh, our forces have now dwindled and we pull back to regroup. The enemy has multiplied and formed a massive group. 
We better beat these bugs before we're all turned to soup. The EDF deployed. God. All right. You okay? Now I'm fine. Well, too bad I just sang it. I'm not singing it again. I already sang. The, <laughs> I just sang the third verse. Got it. I hope that in the next EDF. You know what? EDF is just grounded. Change my mind. It. Uh. Well. I. I'm afraid I'm gonna have an aneurysm because you're. You're not wrong, but <laughs> but you shouldn't say that. Yeah, you're not wrong, but you shouldn't say it. Well, here's the difference. And here we have guns. Over there we have sticks and stones. <laughs> that and, and grounded, some of the insects are not dangerous. Some of them are actually friendly or docile. In this one, every insect wants to kill you. It is a terrifying enemy. We can't let it come on land. Dispatch units to the shore and meet them with fire. Uh oh. Must. Yay! We did box. it! I'm not, I'm not gonna get there in time. No! Nuts. <laughs> oh well. Alright. Preventing. Uh oh. We have confirmation that the mothership is traveling offshore and have dropped several hectares, walking battle soldiers. They're attempting to make landfall. We'll set up a shore defense and coordinate with aerial troops for support from above. Okay. Uh, I'm also going to play as air raider on this one because I have, um, I've got some weapons that are going to be helpful here. All right. Ooh, I got another tank. I'm going to equip that. Air raiders can equip two weapons and oh, one vehicle. Let me read a message real quick here. Choose loadout. Air Raiders can equip two weapons and one vehicle. All right, you can continue. All right. Choose loadout. Air Raiders can equip two weapons and one vehicle. Yeah, this will have to do. Hey, Dolly's the Wolf. Welcome back to the stream. I hope that you're doing well. In my chat, Lord Raleigh says... Inu, about EDF being grounded, why would you say something so controversial yet so brave? <laughs> oh. Oh my god, I just realized something. This is this is Battle Los Angeles all over again. Okay, first of all, that movie is good. Don't you dare shit. I know. Don't I know, I know yeah. it's a good movie. <laughs> yeah, that movie is good. Don't shit talk Battle Los Angeles. No, but they're entering like Battle Los Angeles. That's the thing. <laughs> You know the scene I'm talking about, right? Yes, I know what you're talking about. Yes, sir. I love that movie. Too bad it never got a sequel. It was actually, um, it actually was on the, uh, there was a planned sequel for it, actually. And it, to my understanding, it's still in, like, it's in basically in development hell. Because oh, that a sucks. Aaron Eckerhart, who plays Gunnery, Sar you know, uh, you know, Staff Sergeant Nance has more than said he'd come back for the movie, so. And the thing is, let's be honest, it's basically a souped-up B-movie. That's all it is. It's a B-movie. Like, you know, not a big blockbuster. It's just a, you know, a B-movie. Like, it's good, but it's not amazing. But the reason so many people didn't like it was because it was, you probably noticed, it was shot like a documentary. You know, like the camera was following everybody yeah. everywhere. That's not a bad thing. I think that's cool. But a lot of people didn't like it, so... I'm gonna I'm gonna call air support. Bomb and run incoming. Also, you'll notice every time the Hectors get hit, they like lean back. Just lean back. Retreating. Lean back. My tank! How dare he! There's a bunch of treasure over there I can't grab. I'll get it. I can't wait to unlock the helicopter. 
The helicopter controls are a little wonky, I'm not gonna lie. It, they take some getting used to. Oh dear, I think they've spotted me. That takes care of that. Yeah, how's a bunch of 105 millimeter tungsten suits you? Pleasure treasures. Up, oh, another wave. Here they come. Also, I'm gonna try to grab that treasure over there and near the sea. Also, make sure you grab them. Mm. Try not to destroy the Hectors while they're in the water, because otherwise you won't get the uh, you won't get the items, because the items will sink, and you'll have to head out into the water to get them. Now you can watch. Uh, we have access to later. Watch the watch the Hectors. Watch the horizon. Yeah, watching. You'll see. Oh, multiple air, God. yeah, a uh, multiple airstrikes. We defeated the enemy. Well done. The air raid will begin again. Yes, sir. There's one more air raid. Ground units, distance yourselves from the enemy. Let's talk about it later. <laughs> Are you happy? Let's talk about it later. <laughs> Oh, by the way, uh, did you actually know this is a good mission for grinding, uh, for early on grinding weapons and stuff? Because, uh, as long as we don't get involved, or at least fight from a distance, um, the AI will not destroy the tanks, and we can pick off all the enemies from a distance. I'll show you after this. Inu, watch out, that Hector's right on top of you. I see it. Can I join in? I do have to use... Uh, sure. Whenever we are finished with this, you'll be able to join. That is if the host is okay with it. Yeah. What do you think of the 105mm barrage? That's so cool. There's two more over there! And yes, the uh, the satellite laser does, look, like Badger said, does look like the physics gun from Gary's Mod. That wasn't a joke. It literally does look like that. <laughs> Unfortunately, I do not have the rule of God, which you saw at the end of that video. The rule of God is incoming. What's the blast radius on this thing? Yes. I do not have that. Uh, that was actually a DLC weapon. So, ah, I see. Which I mean, I was thinking of getting some of the DLC weapons, but they're I not. not to. They're the only way you get them is by getting like the challenge missions, which are god hard. Okay, I'm getting these things quickly. We succeeded in destroying them in a fight eight years ago. It's an opponent we can kill. Thank God that we don't have like mutated fish flying around. Yeah, that's uh, that's in game six. Oh. Yeah, that's game six. Okay. So blow yourself up! Oh, I didn't blow mm. myself up. Mm. Alright, so your friend wants to join, so let me go and, um... Change room settings. Mm. I have to... Okay, well, if they want to join, I have to close the room. So, because the room only has support for two people, so I will have to close it. Alright. Alright. Uh, I hope... Okay, there is one problem, though. I don't know if it's going to happen this way. It may not, because it didn't with you and me, but... If someone else joins who's never played the game before, we may have to go back to mission one. I don't know. I don't think so, because it didn't do that with you and me. 
So, but we'll see. So, let me close this mission. This is the lobby. All right. Here you I will recreate the room. Players. You can also create room. Okay. I'm going to open up the room starting now. There we go. Grat, get in quick. Yeah. Meanwhile, so uh, a mission. I'm taking us back to that mission, Inu, because I'm going to show you what happens if you crank the difficulty up, and I'll show you how the grind works. Grind! Okay. Change rooms, select a different You should go to bed. It's more than 10 hours of stream. I don't want to go to bed. You're not my name. I tried Change to tell him to take a break before tonight. He refused to listen to me. <laughs> okay, so you are going to have to turn off the uh, the, th uh, the voice chat. Now, uh, while we wait for your friend, you will notice. Look at the weapon lim level limit. Uh, Weapon... It's up to 55, because I turned up the difficulty by two ticks. This oh, wait, means... Oh, so is quiet? Oh, I am? Loadout. Apparently, that's what my chat says, so let me turn you up two here. Weapons and one vehicle. Now, go. Mm, this means... Mm, Inu, that I get to use all of my toys. Oh. Choose all of them. Would you like to see some of the really cool vehicle. things you get to play with later? Yes, yeah, sir. I would like to. Okay, let's see. Um. Choose right. loadout. You know what? I'm actually... Uh, okay, would you like me to bring the vehicle. best pa uh, armored power suit I have? Or would you rather me bring the... Um, would you rather me bring the... Uh, well, let's see. Where is it? Um. Yeah, I can bring the best... Um, like the power... The biggest power suit I have. Or I can bring... Um, Let's see, where is it? Or I can bring the, uh, yeah, I can bring, like, the biggest pa uh, mech suit I have. I can bring you the best tank I have. Or I can bring you, um, let's see, what else do I have in here? Uh, I can bring you my best helicopter. I even have rail guns, if you like the rail guns. Ooh, the rail sounds cool. All right, rail gun? Can I do? Yeah. We also have the giant fuck-off war tank, if you prefer to have that. But, uh, that one takes a while to spawn. So... Might be better to go with the railgun. Railgun! Okay. So here's the thing. Bring your best weapons, and I will explain what we're going to do here. Okay? All right. Like your highest level stuff, and I don't know where your friend is. Uh, they coming? Yeah, I hope so. They said right. they're your being, but I hope they come here. Okay, I wish they were, like, ready to go, because the room's wide open, so any loser can jump in, basically. Like... Yeah. Anyway, mm. so here's the deal. When the mission starts, that's uh. Do you not have any level five stuff? Is all you have level two and level one? Okay. I only have level ones and two. Yeah. All right. Here's the deal. Mm. As soon as the mission starts, run the fuck away. Just run to the edge of the map. Like follow. Okay. Yeah. Follow me. I will explain as we run. Okay. All right. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> no, I no. This is not a joke. This is literally. No, no, I, I, yeah. no, I know. I just find it funny. It's like we do. It's like, all right, see, we're gonna do, we're gonna kill all these ants and everything. And just the room just grabs Inu. Yeah. Run Infantry this way. Run. Run this way. Just run and roll. Come on, run. We need to get away before the drone show up. So we literally are gonna run to the back of the map. And this is a tactical retreat. We're not running away. Retreat now for victory later. All right. So here's the deal. Mm. Because we're back here and we haven't joined into the battle, the AI, uh, all the AI units over there are indestructible. So what will happen is we are going to wait for them to get rid of the drones. And then we will move in like here. Here's the rail gun. We will move in and assist once the, um... Mm. We'll move in and assist once the drones are dead. Because the drones will... I can take a few hits. You'll die in one hit. So... Well, it is accurate to my size. I am small and one hit killable. So, this is an Epsilon railgun. It will punch through armor and is a direct line of fire. It does not arc. Just shoot straight with it. Oh? No, you're in one of the side turrets. Get in the back. 
So we just wait for a bit? Yeah, just wait for a bit. I'll, I'll go take a peek. Hold on. We just need to wait for the drones to go away. Whoop, there goes one of them. Um, all right, let me go take a look. If it's clear, I'll tell you, you can pull, you can drive up. Give me a second. We're gonna find a crap ton of weapons, huh? Oh, yes. Uh, Look. Dino, I'll let you in, and then after that, uh, Dino will leave, and then Sarge will be your turn. We're only gonna make a one person at a time. So that way we don't clock off the chat and stuff. Okay. All right? So, still a few drones left. They're dying, though, which is good. Hang tight. Funny thing, at higher difficulties, the drones get knocked around like bowling pins, which is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw one go wee. Yeah. No, it's only three players at the moment. No, I would have set it to four, but I didn't know there were two people waiting. I thought there was only one person. Yeah. Who, di who didn't? Just... Who didn't join? So. I need to get so, so, so I, uh, they, Okay, so one person can't make it anyways. Okay, almost. They're almost ready. Or the dr uh, the drones are almost gone. Hang on. You can start pulling Man. up. You can start pulling up a little bit. Let's pull up to where I am. Just comes in like into the late party. Idiot, idiot. Oh my god, all my friends are dead. Is that a fizz? That's a fizz gun. That's a sprite fall. No, that's sprite fall. Alright, park yourself up here on the ridge and start taking shots at the Hectors. Yeet. Will do, sir. My bomb drop was short. Oh, they see us. Uh, not yet they don't. That one does. Oh yeah, they see us now. Yeah, they definitely see us now. Get it in the face! Oh shoot, not all the drones are dead. Uh, Eni, you may want to aim that railgun upward and start and fire at the drones. Uh, the drones? I thought they were all dead. I was... Oh, nice! That's one! Get the other ones. Arizona was so tricky! Oh, uh, no! Oh, boy. This ain't good. Because I... Oh, you got one. Did you get them both? Nope, that one's still alive. He, he's... You need oh to God. run! That Hector's right uh, on... Yeah. Welcome to highest difficulty where... Yeah, you are not prepped for this. We might have to restart. Yeah, I think we're, I think we're gonna have to restart. That, that's fire. Right, let's try that again. Alright, run! Run! Just run. We're running all way because we want to farm stuff. Okay, here's the problem. Uh, when you do this strategy, you got to watch the radar because if one of the drones, which are the fast-moving triangles, like, breaks away, like, almost like it got hit or something, that means it yeah. knows where you are and it's going to come after you. Which means the strat if you can't kill it, the strategy's basically a bust. So. As soon as we re leave the red line, we should be good, right? Yeah. Yeah, just stay put. Also, here you go. Here's a rail gun. Uh, hey, Suze, what's up? Welcome to the stream. I hope you're doing well. So, mm, here's the deal. Basically, as long as we don't get involved, because here's the key, like I said, the AI units are invincible unless we get involved. And the thing is, the drones are actually one of the biggest killers here, not the Hectors, because the drones' rapid-fire lasers will cut through vehicles and people. So... Whereas with the Hectors, if you stun them, their weapons spray all over the place. The Air Force will arrive momentarily. That's a can. Alright, see you, Thomas. Have a good one. Alright, so hop in. I'm gonna go, uh... Now, we want to wait. If you look at the radar, you notice how some of the triangles are flowing and moving around a lot faster? Yeah. Those are the drones. Until they all go away... 
moving up to engage is a bad idea because not only will we make it so our our AI teammates are basically well boned because they won't be invulnerable anymore, but it also means that if any of those drones spot us, we are in big trouble. Meanwhile, you get to watch the drones get knocked off into the sky like Team Rocket. Do not fire. If you fire a shot, that's basically us engaging. And it'll basically, uh, it'll, like, it'll break the, uh, you know, it'll break the trick. And yes, this, right, mm. Bye, ha bye, have a great time. Bye-bye. Um, I don't know who that is. I don't uh, know who that is either. Mm, well, we'll have to kick him later. He can't play right now because we're in the game. So this is why I said, is one of your buddies coming into the game? Like, Yeah, they took a little bit too long. Okay. Anyway, uh, there's a few drones left. And again, wait till I know yeah. this is kind of boring, but this is the way to grind out like good game weapons early. Like when I was playing EDF and I wanted to grind weapons for Air Raider, I came here. I mean, We're, to yeah. be fair, uh, to be fair, I grinded a lot in BL2 yeah. and other games, so I'm used to it. Now nah, we're cool, Clara. Don't worry about it. Um, let's see. Should be uh, should be good to go. If all those blue triangles disappear, we might be in trouble because I don't. No, there's think... there's there's still a couple of them. I know, but like if they all disappear, then the gl then the trick isn't working, and we might be in trouble. Um, because there's still so many drones left. We'll get there, Rawlius. Don't worry. We'll get there. Bye. Have a good time. All right. I'm going to go take a peek. Hold on. This is where the Gigantus tanks come in handy. Like, the late-game Gigantus tanks can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a Hector and actually win. Like, after a few shots. So, uh-oh. Oh, there's, there's still a couple of drones there. Yeah, I think one of them spotted us. Get ready. It's coming this way. Shoot it. Yeah, oh, they, yep. they're engaging. Yeah, yeah. They're engaging. All of our teammates are dead, so trick didn't work. Well. Yeah. All right, hold on. So, yeah, we'll have to come back and do that later when you have better stuff, because unless we have good weapons, it's basically pointless. All right, so, Dino, hurry up and join. Yeah, now would be the good time to join. Okay, so naturally, because we're going on to a back-to-normal difficulty, I can't bring my superpower weapons. So, I hope you enjoyed seeing them. But Yeah, that, those, were, those were cool. I, I gotta say, I like that EDF doesn't, you know... Like, there's always that problem with certain games where they, you, if you already have the OP gear, uh, how do I even just search for the new uh, room name, which is the Rook and Inu. Yeah, you can't miss it. So, most games that have, like, you know, like co op and stuff like that, they usually make it where if one of your friends is overpowered, they can basically just carry you for the entire game. Not in this game. You don't have to be friends on on, on Steam. Yeah, you don't have to be friends. Choose we don't have to be friends. You can literally just search the game. Yeah, search the game. Also, I'm bringing... Search the room, in, the Rook and Inu. Also, I'm bringing you a helicopter, Inu. You wanted a helicopter, so I'm bringing you a helicopter. Helicopter, helicopter. Helicopter, helicopter! <laughs> um... The aliens are digging tunnels to infiltrate the city's underbelly. At least one tunnel entrance has already been confirmed. Alien monsters have been emerging from it, and soon the city will be overrun. We need to destroy this tunnel entrance and stop any more of these filthy creatures from emerging. You're to head out immediately. Yeah, I know. I know, Goman. I know. <laughs> Inu's PNG's great. <laughs> Insert any sound effect you hear. I heard I was like... But you can also hear the the Pac-Man noise. Waka 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 waka. Uh, I I actually need to send you the context of that of that gif. Mm. Uh, so yeah, Dino, you're in the game. You're gonna need to switch to like lower level weapons, and uh, we'll go from there. Um, let's see. All right, I'm. Ready. Let me mute him so he does. Uh, let me mute him so that way he doesn't get his voice streamed. 
I'm gonna do like only a couple mentions, and then we're just gonna go back to the single. Yeah. You and me. All right. So while he's uh, getting set up, give me a second. What? Um, Select a mission. Let's see, where is the mission Raleigh was talking about? I think. Ah, uh, yeah, that's a few. That's about twelve missions away. But that's okay because it's really it's a really good one. So. I right. see red ants. Correct. Blue ants. Cor no, they're red. Correct. So basically, now that we. Mm, now that the black ants shoot acid, the red ants, that's the ironic thing. In real life, red ants, you know, fire ants have have venom that burns, so they should be the ones spitting acid instead of the black ants. Black ants bite. It's reverse in EDF. Black ants spit acid, red ants bite. So, yeah, they reversed it. It's weird. Um, but, That's so weird, but also chaotic. Yeah, but they also changed it because red ants are a lot more aggressive. Red ants will actually, unlike black ants, which will just stare at you for a few seconds, red ants will come right after you. Anyway, uh, funny, we'll wait funny on enough, and, and Go ahead. Uh, yeah, funny enough, and when I was, you know, I always liked playing with the black ants, especially here in my area. They're very docile. They're like, they climb around there, they just play with me. Again, ants it. are nor... Anyway, ready up, Dino. We're ready. And uh, again, ant... Ugh. Black ants themselves are like, again, it depends on the ant. Most ants are pretty docile. They literally just take the stance of stay away from our home and we won't bother you. So, mm -hmm. unfortunately, ants sometimes set up their home in spots where they're not wanted. So, also, uh, I don't know if you've ever seen it before. This is for everyone, by the way. Go look up Ant Hill Art on YouTube or any video site. You know, do you know what I'm talking about, Inu? No. Okay. So, it's literally something scientists and also hobby people Deploying. do, where they melt down, uh, like, nickel or liquid metal, and then they pour it into anthills. And, yes, all of the ants are killed, but when the metal dries and hardens, you get a perfect cast of what the anthill looks like, all the way down into the ground. And so you get to oh, see... That's... You get to see how all the ants build all their, uh, different, uh, nests. And some of them are insane. Uh, I think one of them was, uh, I think one of them weighed, like, I think 30 pounds when they dug it out of the ground. So, yeah. Giant insects are Let's roll. Alright, easy thing control. about the nests is you just gotta shoot them. Doesn't matter how you hit them, just shoot them. I literally like that Air Raider is literally his air support and plus demo man. Yeah. Oh, ho, ho, ho. they're gonna have to bury what's left of you in a soup can. Also, here's your uh, helicopter, you knew. Helicopter. I placed a tent. I still remember what the, the ant, the spider yes, den, sir. man. Oh, man, that was terrifying. Oh, uh, there'll be more of those. Hate to tell you. Ah, uh, you're gonna. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's a bit. Uh, it's a bit wonky. <laughs> Careful. Our raptor is drunk. Why is he in the helicopter? I don't know how to drive. I skipped out on helicopter lessons. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll take over. I'm going to go back for my tank. I know, we're only gonna do like a couple rounds and now I'm gonna we're gonna kick off because I didn't uh, do this properly so I apologize in advance okay I will be streaming this game more but I just want to play with you more Zaruk. Mm -hmm. well I appreciate that hmm 
So the problem with the chopper, the helicopters, is like just like real life helicopters, you actually have to angle to make an attack. So like you got to make sure you get in the right spot for them. So. Well, that's what we gotta destroy, huh? Yep. That looks like a volcano. Yeah, and once the sand squirts out of it at the top, it's basically dead. So you can leave it. Anyway, grab those red boxes. I'm going to the next one. Yeah, I'm gonna grab it. Destroy the tunnel exit, you giant insects. We'll let you above ground. I wonder if they're ever gonna make an EVF movie. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if like a Japanese movie group did that, but I don't imagine a like. Would you trust an American movie company to do that after how they butchered all the other movie video game movies? Uh, like Monster Hunter and Resident I, Evil. Man, yeah, but I don't know. I like Resident Evil for how corny it was. I mean, that's fine, but I mean, I hate what they did to Monster Hunter. So, and it was by the same uh, developer too. Yeah, the same director and the same actress. And the thing that pisses me off the most about it is they said, "Oh yeah, we played the games. We love the games." And I'm like, "Then how did you?" fuck up so badly case in point um mm. allow Zaruk Windcaller to be very upset at how those idiots didn't even do basic research so start of the movie when like the US special forces are getting chased around by a monster and like their Humvee gets destroyed and all of them get jumped by um by uh um what is it by um it's not Bra is it? no no it's a uh, uh what is his name um Somebody in my chat help me. What is the name of the uh, of the monster that has like triceratops horns, but it's a wyvern? Um, I think I think I know which one you're talking about. And it's brown. Um, uh, thank you, Diablos. Thank you. It's Diablos. So here's the thing about Diablos. Diablos is an herbivore. It doesn't eat meat. It eats plants. It eats cacti in the desert. So the fact that it openly eats soldiers makes no sense. And also the fact that maybe you could write it off if it was a black Diablos, which black Diabloses are literally females that are in heat and they're so angry that they attack and kill everything. That would make sense, except they didn't. No, in the movie, it's a normal Diablos, which apparently is, a tr which it is attracted by sound waves. That is true. Diablos is attracted by sound. But then it just openly eats people, which Diablos doesn't do that. So... Or how they made Nergigante into, like, itty-bitty spiders, when in reality Nergigante is a giant spider from your nightmares. Like, uh, wait, speaking Nergigante? of... Nergigante? Well, whatever the spider monster is called in the movie. Yeah, it's Nergigante is the name of the spider. Also, speaking no, of spiders... I thought, the, I thought the Nergigante was, like, one of the mythical monsters. No. Like, like... It's the one that has, like, the real big horns, spiky, so... Oh, there are spiders! Yeah, that's why I said... Oh, okay, Nursilla. Sorry, not Nergigante, Nursilla. Yeah, in the movie, in the games, Nursilla is this giant spider that has, like, uh, these jagged, like, uh, pincers that can come out and attack you. In the movie, no, it's a swarm of them. And I'm like, that's not right either. Like, how do you mess this up? Is that me, or did they get bigger? No, it's just you. Either that, or you got smaller. So that that could be true. And yeah, thank y'all. It's Nursilla. Nergigante is an elder dragon. Yeah. <laughs> Which, funny enough, I actually have a, a what's it called, a Monster Hunter character. Mm-hmm. What is your favorite ba monster, by the way? Palumu. And Raffalos. Hmm. Ah, uh, so... And, and Nurhigantas as well. There is that... I play stories. I'm not a big fan of the original Monster Hunter formula. Uh. I like stories because it's, you know, it's more simple, RPG, fun. Yeah, my, uh, my girlfriend Amina would like you. She loves stories. Just wish that there was actually more stuff post-game that wasn't just farming all the monsters. That are online only, by the way. That's the one thing I despise so far. Meanwhile, your boy, meanwhile, your boy over here, uh, Zaruk, is a Stingy and Zenogre fan, so. My tea! 
Okay, that's it. Take this, Scooters. I'm no longer afraid of you. He says, not knowing we're gonna have to go underground and deal with them. I'm not afraid of them. Not anymore. They scared me once, but I am more stronger, fearsome, and braver than ever. Then so please cosplay as a spider and scares me. Yeah. I think that's all of them. Yep. Ah, the quadruped walk the quadruped fortresses. This will be fun. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh no, oh no, bro. Oh no, bro. All right. Fortress seat. Hold on. Uh what's the next verse? Um Let's see. To take down giant insects who came from outer space. We now head underground for their path we must retrace. And find the okay, giant so yeah, and find the giant nest and crush the queen's carapace. The EDF deploys. Yeah, the Ravagers have begun a serious offensive, attacking several areas simultaneously. Here, they seem to be utilizing a giant walking fortress, bristling with weapons that's roughly 200 meters in length. The attack aircraft carrier or attack aircraft Midnight has been dispatched to destroy it, but we are to aid them by taking out the fortress's legs, then eliminating any remaining enemies. Ground forces, move out. Give me a minute. I'm working here. Here, on somebody. Yep, and I am ready. Okay. I'm since we're going underground, I'm switching to ranger. Oh no, we're not going underground on this one. We're above ground. But you want to bring, but stay as a ranger. You're gonna want that rocket launcher. Because we need to fight this giant walking battle mech. Just, uh, you want to aim for the legs. Because we don't, uh, at this point in the game, we don't have the tech or the weaponry to take down, uh, this, for this walking weapon. So, yeah, the quadruped fortress. Later on in the game, we'll have ways to engage and destroy it, but our weapons are not strong enough right now. They're basically calling in, you know, they're calling in a giant aircraft that has a bunker buster on it. Also, if you look to your left. Oh. That is the E651 Titan tank. You, as an air raider, you will be able to deploy one of those later. Oh my god. Fire the Requiem cannon. Hello, love 100 hello baby tilda zarut w hey, smile fountain. hype love one hey fountain how you doing hey like we're playing edf oh dino's dead i'll go ah! get i'll go get him hang on then pay with your blood and we just lost the titan tank ow this ain't good. Shoot the Hectors. Yeah, I'm doing that. Destroy it with air raids. I would do that, but unfortunately, I'm a little caught up at the moment. Yep, I got stun locked. So, uh. I'm trying. Uh this might be a... Yeah, oh we're, boy. Di we're done. No, I'm gonna roll. Just reload, drop, reload, this drop, reload. Headquarters. The attack aircraft Midnight is headed this way. It's going to deliver a blow with a new penetrating bullet, Grindbuster. Stop the quadruped until Midnight arrives. Yeah, that's it. There. But I restarted the level, so we're good. We can't get it with only ground troops. All right. Robot, you, here's the thing. You can't we can't stop the uh the quadrat fortress, so just shoot the hectors. The 
Yeah. Also, uh, I have to be careful because air raids won't work if they're underneath the thing. Shoot the Hectors from from a distance. Yep. Hey, Deadpool, how you doing, buddy? Hey, Deadpool, what's up? Yeah, I could use your guys' help. Ow. Uh, yeah, I'm in trouble. I got stomped on. Oh, no. I, I'm helping. Yeah. I got oh, my good. Yeah, I got stomped on and knocked way off course, so. I'm gonna roll to save your butt. I'm getting shot in the face yeah, and no. I'm flying there. Okay, I've got a better idea. Ooh, yikes. Sorry to hear that, Deadpool. Destroy it with air raids. Oh, shut up, Cataclysm. That's one down. Dino's got to take on the all the other three by himself. Dude, this is the reason we need giant girls to, to defend us. I mean, a giant Inubel or giant Zoe can just grab one of these Hectors and throw them into the next state, so. No, they, what she'll do is just grab a bunch of them, grow, grow to like almost state side, curl them up in the wall and just go, yay! Yeah. Dino might actually do this. The Dino carry? Deploying from the fortress. Uh, unless the drones get him. Uh oh. Yeah. We might need an air raider. I am the air raider and I'm dead. <laughs> Alright, there's. Uh, Alright, one more. There we go. Thank you. That's all the Hectors. I'm going to come get you, Inu. By the way, as soon as I get you up, get a health kit, because you have to donate part of your health to revive a teammate, so... I'm, I'm just taking a nap here. Don't mind me. You died in the Yamcha pose, by the way. <laughs> I'm back. There you go. All right, grab... Uh, there's health kits and plenty of pickups, so let's get them. We see it, Dino. We're coming. Get these health kits over here, Inu. Alright, we're good. Alright, that's more health kits. And an armor pickup. Nice. Alright, let's roll. Lord Raleigh says, oh shit, now I want to draw Inu in the in the Yamcha pose. Do it! 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 <laughs> Do it. Yes, do it. Do it. Chew it. <laughs> Don't chew. Don't chew the rat. No, no, do it. I'm just thinking of all the. Uh, I'm thinking of all the Game Grumps jokes they made about do it. Uh, it just, just reminded me of the El Dorado joke. Mm -hmm. Both, 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 both is good. Both is good. El Dorado, el helado. It's okay to fall apart every now and again. Tacos fall apart all the time, and we still love them. That is true. I was not near. I was way too close with the blast radius.
Another one down. It's like War of the Worlds, just not nearly as terrifying. I never seen that movie. I'm I'm talking about the audio drama, not the not the movie. Oh, there's a there's an audio drama? Yeah, that's what it originally was. Some dude got on the radio um and read the like okay. The entire War, War of the Worlds thing was literally a prank on a radio talking about how Martians were invading using heat rays to kill everybody. And it was all a joke, but it was so effective that it scared the shit out of the entire United States. So, and that, and after that, people started adapting it into like books and then movies and stuff. I see. One Hector down, one more to go. Well, two more to go. Three more to go. You shouldn't have opened your mouth. Damn, me and my goddamn snout. Yeah, it was a, thank you, it was a reinterpretation of H.G. Wells' book. H.G. Wells wrote the book, then they made the radio drama, and then everyone started making other stuff out of it. But the outcome is always the same. Aliens uh, can't survive the bacteria and the viruses on Earth, so then they die. Despite the fact that they, um... Despite the fact that nothing stops them. Just wait a little longer. Work question, but what does Inu have nor a normal raptor feed? I can oppose uh, the ref. Yeah, you can drop it in the uh in the art section on my Discord. Yeah, I'll do that after this mission. Yeah. Hmm. But yeah, basically the oldest War of the Worlds movie, Inu, is at, is basically a horror movie. Because as soon as the aliens come out of the pod and everything, their heat ray literally turns a guy into a skeleton in one shot. Like, it literally vaporizes him. So... I have a, I have a question with uh, uh, Saruk. Yeah. Uh, have you seen... Uh, uh, it's, the, it's the one with the aliens with the brains. I forgot what's the call. Mar Mars, like Mars attacks. attacks? Mars at Yes. I have seen it. It is hilarious. I have, I have never seen it. It is, it's a straight up comedy movie. It is hilarious. You know what actually ends up stopping the Martians? I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a guess that it's something that we use every day. No, it's something you'd never expect. Uh oh. Uh, yodeling music. That's funny. It's like weird. It's like Wild West or yodeling music, and it literally causes their brains to explode. We got more drones incoming! Of course we do. Midnight has acquired the target. All right, watch the fortress if you can watching. Well, while we're fighting. Because Midnight's going to take it out with a grindbuster bomb. Dino, watch out for the lasers on the walker. I am missing most of my shots. And I, and, I I am, and I am not throwing away my shot. <laughs> I am not throwing away my... Oh, yep, here it is. Watch. Kaboom. Down it goes. Get the boxes. Get the boxes. Get in the boxes. The Air Force and the Navy were destroyed or cast about. Scouts, Rangers, Wing Divers have almost been wiped out. Despite all this, the infantry will stubbornly hold out. The EDF deploys.
I saw that. <laughs> I tried to shoot myself there. How much to let Inu do this alone for two minutes? Do you, wait, play the level alone? I mean, he can uh, do it. He's got the equipment for it. He can do it. Um, Now, are you talking about crank the difficulty up and make him do it alone? Because then he's he's basically bug food. He will not survive. Like, it's the str it's straight up playing Call of Duty on veteran difficulty. You will not survive. How much to let Inu do? Yeah, on higher difficulty for two minutes. Uh... I don't know, Inu, how much money would that take? How much money would that cost to, like, make uh, you do it alone? As for you to get subs? Hmm. hmm. i tell you what. If you want, tell you what. Give five subs to me and five subs to Inu, and then I'll make him do it. That way we both get something out of this. <laughs> yeah. Do that, and I will make it happen, Deadpool. I will literally throw him in there at a higher difficulty. And I'll be like, all right, you got two minutes. He won't do it. He already gave a ton of money to help me get, like, my animation transition, like, my screen transition. Oh, no, he did it. The madman. Oh, the madman. <laughs> All right. So, he, like, he won't do it. Deadpool. All right, bet. <laughs> bet. All right. So, he did it. So, uh, let me just grab the right weapons for this, and then I'm going to toss Inu to the wolves, basically. Oh my god, they were for the five gifted subs! <laughs> Alright. That's, that's, five, that's five growth spurts for the girls. Good luck, smiley face. Oh All right. god, okay. We are now playing on hard difficulty. So, um... This should be fun. Alright. But with that in mind, I'm gonna bring some better way. Also, uh, hey... Yeah, Dino, we're playing on hard now, so for this challenge, so go ahead and get your good get your good shit. Rangers can equip two weapons. Oh wait, if that's the case. So Inu, I know we haven't played that many levels yet, but I'm guessing you're a you're an EDF fan Choose now. Yes. I'm gonna join the troops since so plays and Inu are gonna be my secret weapon. EDF does not know about their hidden abilities. Vehicle. Sir. Hmm. Choose loadout. I'm gonna bring I'm gonna bring the Titan tank. There we go. Alright. Are you ready, Inu? Yes, I'm ready. Two minutes. Yep, I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna I'm gonna put a timer right now. Okay. Go ahead and put it up. I can't do anything. So thank you, Deadpool, by the way. <laughs> Have fun, Inu. Uh oh. Two we the game is the, uh oh. Is the game even loading? Uh oh. It says uh -oh. matching. Uh oh. Uh this happens. I hope it loads. If uh, if it doesn't, we'll have to exit the game and come back in. Because it does do this sometimes. Let's see, matching now. Uh let's see. That's a force close for us? Um it yeah, usually it is. We'll see. Darn. I'm gonna I'm gonna give it like 10, 15 seconds, and nothing happens. Yeah, it's a force close. It... Again, the game is, it's, yep, disconnected from the session. This is the so we can just create the room again. Join rooms with other players. I'll do it again. You can also create All right. Room. All right. The room is created. Hop back in. <laughs> wow. Of, co uh, of course. As soon as I put my money where my mouth is. Mm. Also, uh, Delta Zero says, Inu, you're fucked. Place your bets. Place your bets. Everyone, what, uh, what's going to happen? Okay, any mods in my challenge, make a prediction. Will Inu die horribly? Can yeah, I somehow good... join the BC? No, no, Dino. I'd rather not, okay? Also, you need to... Hold on. I got to kick this guy out. How did you get in here? All right, hurry up. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, to... I need, need a prediction. You need I'm joining. Join. Yeah, thank you. There we go. Okay, and Dino needs to jump into the game if he's going to play. Yeah, Dino, yeah, you too, too, please. Too. Also, yeah. I gotta mute. Okay. There we go. This guy first can't... 35 seconds. Yeah, who wants to how who wants to place a bet on how long Inu survives, or if he even survives? All right, I'm ready. But remember, you only got to do it for two minutes. That's it. So two ready, minutes. Yeah, ready up. Hit your timer when the mission starts. I... Mm -hmm. Deploying. As soon as we load in into yeah. the map. 
And remember, Dino, no helping him. No helping no you. No helping. Yeah. Do not help me, Dino. Uh-oh. Again? Again? Hold on. Hold on. Mm. If it um if it does this again, we may have to close the game and hop back in. Because it's again, it, it this happened. Like I said, this happens sometimes. The game is old. The game is old by this point. Oh, oh when, when when did it release? Uh, well, it started out as a console game actually, and then it was ported to PC. So it was never meant for PC in the first place. Um, yeah. Could someone check and find out when did EDF four point one come out? It's a if you don't know Enu, it's actually a remake of an older game. So I see. Yep. Disconnect. Yep. Disconnect it. Okay. We're, I'm gonna force close uh, yeah, the me game. Too. Me too. You can also create your give own us a minute, guys. Yeah, just we'll give us one second. Right back. This won't take too long. Mm. By the way, you probably also noticed. Um. Mm. Mm. You probably also noticed, Inu, how um the voice acting is actually pretty good for a game that you're not supposed to take seriously. Um, That's usually the case when it comes to games. Yeah, don't don't get used to it. EDF five has um, uh, it's not bad, but it's not good voice acting. It's very uh, it's very middle of the road. Also, EDF four point one came out. Shadow of New Despair came out in twenty seventeen. So, so it's six. Post a ref while while you're out. Yeah, I'll do that right now. Give me a minute. Yeah, go and post that ref so we can get to see Yamcha Inu. I'll put it in the art channel. Mm. Lord Rallius, make sure you ba you have him in the pose with his rifle. <laughs> or with his rocket launcher. <laughs> I'll just upload it to non-speaker. Yeah, put it in non-speaker. And I'm going to create the... Uh, Alright, so I'm creating the room. And I will watch over it while you guys come in. Yeah. Alright. And yes, Online. two minutes. That's all. Just two minutes. Then we can come help. Oh, no, the base game came out in uh, 2017. Yes, and the voice acting for uh, for EDF Five is r original Resident Evil levels of lovely, is what Raleigh says. That's true. Yeah, that's, that's amazing. amazing. Okay, okay, let me again mute, mute. There we go. Captain Wesker, where's Chris? Stop it! Don't open that oh, door. That door. <laughs> uh, hope this isn't Chris's blood. Hey, new Shane Plus, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Forest of Memories. I'm Zeruk Windcaller. This is my friend Inu Kazane, and we are playing uh, EDF 4.1. And Inu's about to go through a challenge. Deploying. Are you ready, Inu? Please. Yeah, all right, oh, good. There we we're, go. we're loading. Good. Okay, as soon as we load in. Two minutes. When, I like the fact that it might screen the guy's face. It's okay, two yep. minutes. Let's do this. By yourself. And it's not. I am not. It's spiders. I, I'm not afraid. Okay. I'm not afraid. Rocket launcher! <laughs> Just see Inu running at them with his rocket launcher. Ah! I am not afraid. I am not a. I am the hammer. I am his mailed fist. How much longer? We got one more minute. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Can he, will you survive? I will survive. I'm not gonna die. I'm pretty sick. He's dead. All right, we're involved. Let's go. I like the fact that all the spider got around me. We killed them. <laughs> ah, man. I was literally like 20 seconds away. That, that's unfortunate. But that was a fun challenge, though. <laughs> yeah, all right, I'll come get you. Hang on.
Wait, were you the only survivor of that initial squad? Yeah. All right. Well, you lasted longer than the peons did. All Best right. five times five gifted subs ever. All right. <laughs> Get up. Wake the fuck ah. up, samurai. I'm dead again. Oh, great. Alright, I gotta get help. If I can. Uh, literally, you remind me while I was getting bent by a bunch of spiders. Oh, they are all the, over me. Where's the giant soul place when you need it? Well, the problem is, we, uh... Until we take out the dropships, they're just gonna keep coming, so... And I don't have a close combat weapon, so... Oh, do they all fall down into the gorge? Okay. Works for me. How can you sing? You're dead! Our forces stand united against any awful threat. But when the Navy sends their ships, the Air Force sends their jets. Uh... I'll be with the sons of bitch. She's yelling, fix bayonets when the EDF deploys. That's actually really good, Shane. That's really good. I want what I really need to uh, know how to rhyme so I can put the one with like, giant ladies. All right, let me grab this weapon and I'll go grab some health. I can't use my special weapons until you guys get some more kills and then I can bring in the, uh, the heavy stuff. Jesus Christ, these spiders Dinos hurt. down. And, okay, we're dead. All right. Yeah, I can't do this by myself. I have no way to engage, so we're going to restart. But this time we can help you. So, let's go. Me, me, uh, okay. Yeah. This Meanwhile, I, at the Tropic Resort, the other side, it says, so hit the trans drink, yeah. please? Yeah, hit the transports when they open up. Hit, uh, hit the red spots, as you know. How do you like this? Oh, I missed. Well, shit. Well, this won't. Don't cross that bridge if you know what's good for you. Actually, run! Run the other way! All right, running! <laughs> and that's how we take out the trash. I'm firing my... You're very inaccurate rocket launcher. Well, it, it fires a lot. Yeah, it works, though, so... Ah! Yeah, Deadpool's right. I love the smell of napalm in the morning. It smells like victory. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love the smell of napalm in the morning. It smells like victory. Inu, turn around. Our squad's getting mulched. Thank you. almost dead why won't it die oh my god okay hi jumping spider die please tell me you brought another weapon I did oh you brought a grenade launcher yep why didn't you bring a shotgun or something um explosives yeah but okay I'm a 1 HP warrior! Get up. I'll try to save Dino. I would prefer if you tried to take down the wa uh, the dropship, but okay. Yeah, we're dead. Darn. Yeah. Yeah, we, right. we need to tell down. Okay. Hmm. Not the difficulty. Hmm. <laughs> it's just you guys don't have the weapons to engage at that difficulty yet. So. Yeah. I'll fix it. There we go. Which means we gotta... I can't use my uh, cool stuff, so... Back to the normal weapons. This time I'll switch to an air raider. Okay, if you're gonna play air raider, then I'll switch to ranger. And then vehicle... I'd bring the tank. Because uh, the tank is really effective. Can equip two weapons. Choose loadout. 
Rangers can Preparation complete. Teams. I'm also going to bring my high-powered Stringer Sniper Rifle, which does 500 damage a shot. Deploying. Which is going to make uh, mincemeat. Oh, Deadpool's right. Inu likes Boom Boom. Sadly, Inu, not Smart Raptor. <laughs> I'm not the smartest Raptor. You're right. Yeah, Raleigh did say, I love that he gets challenged to survive, and his strategy is to go balls deep, blasting explosives with no fear. Yep. If it works, it works, you know? In a time of... Uh, I guess I in the face of madness, in the time of sadness, a no, an immortal soldier finds his home. <laughs> you basically think you're invincible, don't you? Kinda. <laughs> I have oh. guns. Oh no, Eno, I... that's gonna kill our squad. Uh... Blue on blue, blue on blue. <laughs> that's a court marshaling. Uh... <laughs> that's a court marshaling. Let, let, and then I go to the court. Sir, why do you kill the troops? Spiders. Or, Understood. Get Understood. <laughs> or all, you go say, on, your honor, Freebird was playing. Understood. <laughs> uh, the chief Komodo Michaels and Stice Spider is to believe that you're pretty much invincible, basically. Oh my goodness, this game is ridiculous and I love it. Just wait till the bees get here. Wait. Oh, bees? Yes, bees. My god. I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna just post a Nicolas Cage picture. Yeah. Ah! No, not the bees! Not the bees! Uh, ah! <laughs> trust me. Trust me. When the bees get here, we will make all of the Wicker Man jokes. I promise you. Okay, I need to... Where are these ships? I had to run over here because I saw a weapon tank. Uh, I blew out the bridge. What? Oh. Huh. You did. Well, we can fix that later. Plus, it stops them from moving so much, so... Also, there's a green crate down there. I'm going to have to go get it if I can. I'll go get it. Idiot! Did you just drive your tank off the cliff? Yeah. What is wrong with you? Does military equipment mean nothing to you? Yeah. Also, a new transport's coming. It's a, they said hide in the valley and wait for it. <laughs> Lord Rallius, Zarouk, that's gonna kill our own squad, Inu. Inu, if you're not willing to show your own position, you're not willing to win. <laughs> Gosh. Hmm. Inu, that airstrike's gonna hit her own guys. Inu, this falls squarely into the not my problem bucket. I, I see it. How Come much? On. Wait, Deadpool says how much to leave Inu dead every time he falls in battle for the next mission. Well, he's not gonna die next mission probably. We're back on normal difficulties. Uh, fifty subs. No, 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 no. I'm Yeah, yeah, no. Do not do that. That's a, that's a joke. That is a straight yeah. up joke. We're not betting on that one. That was just a joke. No, don't do that. Um, besides, on normal difficulty, dying is basically impossible. Unless you like purposely try to get yourself killed, it's impossible. Like you'd be basically saying, like, here's some subs, Inu. Go stand there and be a target. Which, by the way, even then, that's really hard to do. Deadpool, no. I'm no, I am humbly asking, do not do that, please. Don't do that. Hi, giant spider. Uh, aren't you cute? Die. Please tell me you didn't call that in on me! <laughs> I I'm sorry! Thankfully I rolled out of the way, but you literally almost carpet bombed me. Now I'm just imagining Inu having to go back to the Forest of Memories and tell everyone there, yeah, sorry, I killed your boss. <laughs> and my nine-foot half-giant of a wife decides that she's going to decorate our old our house with your skull. But hey, I'll tell you this, though. Later on, when you get access to the wave attack, they'll literally just, like, nine bombers will hit the same area over and over and over again. Uh... 
man, I have not stopped smiling because of this game. Well, it's literally just, how can you be mad at it? Like, it is an adorable, it's hilarious. I will always, uh, bomb myself. Okay. Let's see, uh... I wonder what the guide of weapon, uh, guide beacon does. Guide beacon helps, uh, helps, uh, guided weapons lock on. Ah, uh, So essentially, okay. if someone's got a really bad and inaccurate weapon, you can line up a target for them. It's the ultimate support weapon. And the Caesar wire? Uh, sis, uh, hold on. Uh, where's that, where's that under? That's special weapons. Hold on. I think I know what you're talking about. Oh, the Caesar wire. The Caesar wire. It's um, it's for air targets. It's like a, it's a net gun. Ooh. I mean, they're okay, but you'll find very quickly that they're very short range, and if you're not careful with them, you'll get killed. So. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go with the bullet here. Uh. All right. So. Hector Troop Variants. Probably long-range support models have begun a ferocious assault and they're armed with plasma cannons. We have to stop the Hectors from making landfall. So, Hectors come with three weapons. They come with um, rapid-fire lasers, explosive, las uh, explosive uh, plasma weapons, and then these plasma cannons, which are basically long-range, but they're very inaccurate. Unless there's a lot of them. At that point, quantity has a quality all its own. So... <laughs> <sighs> Anyway, so let's go. Yeah. Uh, you want to uh, now with these guys? It's best, even though they're artillery models, it's best to stay at range because if you get in close, it's easier for them to hit you. Oh, I can't do it. Sorry, Deadpool. I can't do it on normal. Friendly. Oh wait, yes, I can. Did Never. you just shot me? No, you got- you walked in front of my line of fire! Move! It was only a flesh wound. We can't let them gain a beachhead. Defend your positions at any cost. Okay, here's the thing. I hate to say this, but if you want the items, you gotta let them come ashore. Fair, fair, fair. So... I'm gonna... Go on this building! Ah! That was grown so place! He's ready in the weapon! Also, I wouldn't stand still if I were you. Oh my god, I... Controlling these things is always hard. Yeah. I almost got it! Come on! Get it there! Yes! Fair, uh, fair point, Raleigh. I'll do it next mission. Well, Ryan has just turned Inubel to normal size while still plays behind you menacingly. Inubel's up. Uh, it's Zoblaze who's the biggest who does combat roles. Inubel's support. She goes and picks up the wounded. Yes. I mean, who doesn't want a giant doggo picking you up and carrying you to safety? That sounds cute. I need to. I need to get that commission. Well, you did it. it seems the cause is the new walking machines dropped by the enemy. Command headquarters is why normal size Zenu though. Bombardment Hectors are approaching. It comes more of them, but that rocket launcher to work. Let's go. Do you want to eat again? Yes, sir. I said the rocket launcher, not your machine gun. They're too far away for that. God, how much HP do these things have? A lot. Yeah, I'm also using, like, not my most powerful weapons. I'm out of rockets. Then hop out and get a new mech.
I'll help. How do you gonna help, Deadpool? Yeah. At the edge of madness, at the end of sad, the time of sadness, an immortal soldier finds his home. It'll run through fire, over trench and wire. Ever wanting, he's back for more. Ow! I, I oh love... God, I got juggled! <gasps> oh my God, I just saw that on my screen. Unfortunately, I can't dive underwater, so I. Oh God, make it stop! <laughs> <laughs> There's no way to dive underwater, so I can't get all the items. Oh, shit. Ha! Oh, my God. Oh, I'm glad you're having fun. <laughs> Look at this guy, like, twisting his spine to get a shot off. I'm literally arcing my shots to hit this. There we go. So it is the machine's purpose to protect other weapons. A terrifying strategy. EDF! Will now be called the shield bearer. And yes, now we gotta deal with the shield bearers in the next mission. Idiot! Wait, can you sink in the water? Let's see. I was about to say, if you could sink the whole time, you could have gone and gotten the items. <laughs> oh, well. Breaking mm. through. Breaking through. Plays the Sonic song. Mm. New walking machine variants have reached the city. They continue to march unharmed despite multiple airstrikes. It would seem they have some sort of energy screen that blocks attacks. If we don't find a way to destroy these screens, we won't stand a chance. Ground troops are ordered to find some means of penetrating their shields and taking out these machines. I'm going to let you know right now, you probably don't want to play as an air raider for this one. Mainly because okay. mainly because your airstrikes are going to be useless. You want to bring, you need something that can actually do damage. So I'm going to be bringing, um, mm, I'm going to be playing as a ranger. I'm bringing a shotgun and my high-powered sniper rifle. The shotgun is to defend myself. The uh, the laser sniper rifle is for busting the robots. All right, Deploying. let's do this. Mm -hmm. I love that direct. Same. That direct was amazing. Now, about these guys. So, um, uh oh, please don't do this again. Really, really, please don't. Um. So, about the shield screen, guys, essentially, well, I'm going to go ahead and brief you now since I think it's probably going to, like, it won't load on us. Here's the deal. The shield screen units are probably, in my opinion, the most annoying assholes in the game. This is because they have one job. Their job is basically to make energy barriers around the enemy where they can shoot at us, but we can't shoot at them. Their projectiles will go through the shields, ours won't. This means that if you want to be able to hit, hurt things, this you need to take lobby. out the shield screen. Here you can join and the problem with the players. shield bearers is that if you get close to them, free they free run room. away. So you have to chase you them. A lot. You knew? Yeah, I, I heard, okay. I heard. I also tagged you on something in your, in your, in your server. Alright, give me a second, Choose I'll check it out. Loadout. Rangers can equip two weapons. All right. Let me check what you uh, what exactly you tagged me in. Hold on. Uh, what have you done? It's a non-speaker. Ah, petting range. I mean, yeah, basically. I'm okay. <laughs> I am okay with this. I will stare respectfully. <laughs> um. Anyway. So let me see. Let's do this. All right. Let's go. Deploying. So yeah, um, if you close with the shield screen, you need to make sure that you do like, you have to get like right up on top of them because if you try to like, once you get through the shield and you fire at them, they'll shrink the shield and run away so they can protect themselves. You have to get like right up on top of them. Good news is though, they don't have a lot of health. So if you hit them hard enough, they'll die really easily and uh, they usually drop a lot of stuff. So 
So they are so basically kind of like um the Iridians in Borderlands One. Mhm. Mm That's a good description, actually. This is Spencer. The shield screen is right in front of me. Oh! Don't look at them in the eye. Don't look at them in the eye. No, oh, these guys are on our side. Don't worry. No, but I will not look yeah. them in the eye. All right. Let's dance. Even at a slow pace, cannot move through a shield screen. They just have too much mass. Humans, however, are small enough to walk right through. Die already! There it is, it's dead. I love how the fencers were like, we're the only ones who can do this. Bullshit, you're the only ones who can do it. I can't get to them because they're running away! Like I said, they run away a lot. Get close to them and take them down. In 2017, we <laughs> Bye! Inu's practicing for the Rocket Jump Olympics. That's why we now have the fencers equipment. Red alert! Inbound airstrikes! All ground units disengage from the enemy now. Uh, that means us. Run. Watch, watch the map. Because they're calling in airstrikes. Even though we didn't do it. Uh, okay, that's it. Rocket jumping. Pah! Effective range! Let's do this! These things don't even have weapons! Guess they never plan on us just walking through their shields. Man, these things can run faster than we thought! Incoming airstrike! One of them is down! I repeat, one of them up, up, Did you just get hit by an airstrike? I may or may have not been hit by an airstrike. All right, I'll come and get you. I'll, because I was killing one of those uh, shield. Yeah, I know. Per I'm coming. I'll get you. Hang on. There is a a Hector. Yeah, I'm killing it. I'm just gonna sing as I wait. Ow, God! Hey, Deadpool, I I'm being, I'm being dead for a while. <laughs> I'll get you. Hang on, I'm coming to get you. Hang on. Whoa, the Hectors can shoot through shield screens? Yeah, they can. So the only screen out our shots. There you go. Ah, thank you. We're blocked. There's no way. We can't even hit them. But they can hit us. This game is rigged. <laughs> I love that. Me I love that fourth wall joke. This game is rigged. <laughs> oh, that, there's a green box over there. Yep. That's my box. Back off. Okay. Don't even look at it. I'm not looking at it. Okay, good. All right, time to do a best movement. Let's go. That hurt me. Pay for your insolence. <laughs> Have you learned your lesson now? Maybe. <laughs> Alright, there you go, Deadpool. He's dead. Deadpool, Deadpool joked and said how much to kill Inu. I'm like, I'll do that for free. <laughs> there you go. Get up. Uh... There you go, Deadpool. Okay, hold up. Take a look. See how the Hectors are leaned over? Later on in yes. levels, Hectors that are leaned over like that means they're offline, and they will not activate unless you get close. I see. So this is a good opportunity to get behind them and hack them for our own uses. Oh, God, I wish. I'm going to yeah, I'm I'm sneak up. Unfortunately, Don't worry, guys. Yeah, unfortunately, with the shield screen activated, yeah. If I just walk very slowly, it will work, and I'm gonna hack them. 
Fuck him up! Oh, oh, God damn it! <laughs> I'm gonna focus on the shield. Ow. No, kill the Hectors. The shield can't defend itself. Kill the things that can defend themselves. Heck, one of them's almost dead. There we go. That's one. All right. Dino and his rapid fire laser machine gun. Shoot the weapons. If it's exposed outside the shield, hit it. Arms, legs, shoulders, anything. Yeah. There we go. Shield down. Die. I dodged. I'll get you. No, I was shooting at the Hector, but I'll get you. Uh-oh. Stop that one. Stop it. It's going to re... It's got the Hectors it's regrouping with. Dino, you're closest. See if you can stop it. Hectors have been spotted in the direction of the shield bearer. Oh, I don't have enough health. Hold on. No. The shield bearers are trying to rendezvous with the Hectors. If we can pass through the shield screen, I don't think Dino can stop it. Are nothing to fear. But once there you go. Defending other enemies, yeah, it's it's annoying. Like it says, they're like, "Hey, stop that thing!" But you can't. It's it already gets away. Shield bearers must be designed to provide cover for Hectors. Let it go, Dino. We'll get it. Destroy the shield bearer before it joins the Hectors. Nah, we can't do that. But we can pick the Hectors off from long range. Hector, sorry, aren't shooting at us. A threat in and of themselves, but their defenses can turn a battle against us. They've been shielded. Yeah, but there's two of them over here that I'm attacking. They haven't been shielded, and I hope to keep it that way. I can't we're going to show you the abilities of Power Frame. It, it's Power Armor. I get it. It's an Exo Frame, but still, Power Armor. I am basically prepping myself for the Subathon next week. Oh, yeah, your Subathon is next week. On Valentine's Day, no less. I won't be able to stream on my full birthday. I have to stream on Wednesday. Mm hmm. But yeah, it is your birthday. Happy birthday! How old are you? Or going to be? I'm gonna be 29. Hmm. I turned 30 back on the 4th, so I feel ya. Welcome to the old gang. Oh my god! Dodge and weep! You see, the aliens were never prepared for the ultimate attack. Dodge rolling. Which, by the way, you can reload while you're dodge rolling. Also, I'm grabbing all of these stuff right here. Yeah, go get them. I can just hear the explosions of the distance of Dino fucking up the shield bearer. <sighs> hey, Captain Zaruk, what happened to the third guy? Ran distant explosions. Oh, he's over there. <laughs> I, I, I want I really want to get a picture of Inu all like wrapped up in like one of those spider webs like what spiders do to uh, when they're about to eat their victims mm -hmm. and you just hold an Inu from the back it's like what am I gonna do with you yeah what am I going to do with you <laughs> you're gonna cut me free right you're gonna cut me free right <laughs> right <laughs> you know let's see so oh Great, this one. Okay, so, hold on. What's the next mission? Give me a minute. Select a mission. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So, Inu, I'll ask you. We don't have to do this mission. Because, like I said, fighting the shield screens are annoying. We can go on to the next mission, which is an underground mission. Or we can keep going in order. Like, we can skip mission 20 or we can play. It's your choice. 
I mean, shields are a noise, especially since we're basically grounded troops. Yeah. So, we'll skip yeah, it. Yeah, let's skip it. Into the All right. The giant insects just keep coming. Things will only worsen as long as they have their nests, so we need to strike them where they live. We will infiltrate the nest from the same point as last time, following the same route. Uh, when we're as deep as we can go, we'll attack. We have no idea what to expect, so be careful. Ah, yes. Um, so every military plan basically says if you don't know what if, what to expect, don't fucking do it. Apparently nobody at EDF thought about that because we're going in anyway. That's insane. So you're going to want to bring close-in weapons for this one because we're going underground. So shotguns, rifles, anything. Explosive? Uh, you can bring a rocket launcher, just be careful with it. And you're bringing a fusion blaster. Just, uh, cool thing about that? Remember, once you pull the trigger, it doesn't stop. But if you cycle to your next weapon, that'll shut it off. So get used oh, to... Oh, so it's kind of like a chopper. Gotcha. Yeah. When you fire it, it only has 999 ammo. When you fire it, it'll keep firing until it runs out. So if you switch to your rocket launcher, it'll stop. But once that fusion blaster hits zero, you can't reload it. It is a one-time use weapon. But in exchange, that fusion blaster will cut through basically anything. So be careful with it. Deploying. So you're telling me that this thing will run out of gas. Oh, it's doing the thing again. Yeah. Oh, great it is. Um, uh, Hop says, so why are there giant bugs attacking the planet? Uh, good question. Aliens. That's it. Just no, aliens. No. You know, I actually have a proper explanation. Uh, Saruk, I, and everybody else decided to come to my universe, and we apparently left the portal open, and giant insects came. Yeah, where well, I guess giant insects showed up. But the in the game, the in game explanation is that it's aliens. That that's literally it, aliens. Like you know that meme of the guy from like the ancient aliens. Like it's that basically, just aliens. Anyway, if it does cr uh, close, we can just restart the room. That's fine. Yep, disconnected. This is the I wonder launch. why it does that. You can join mm. rooms with other players. Also, you Delta Zero says, I vote he brings all the explosives. Uh, No, because I don't want to die to friendly fire. All right, hop back in. All right, ready. Ready. Okay. Please work. Yeah, there we go. I, so, I noticed that this game chugs a lot when it, you go to the, like, weapon select screen. And it stuff. does. Again, it's... Again, it's... One of the things is... That's why a lot of people play EDF5 now. is because it's more optimized. But... We're back at the mall. Yep. Like I said, we're going in the same way. To take the giant insects who came from outer space. We now head underground for their path we must retrace. And find the giant nest and crush the queen's carapace. The EDF deploys. Hey, careful, gu careful guys. I'm gonna... Well, I can't see. Move, 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 move. Okay, that's bullshit. Him saying giant insects don't make noise. Yes, they do. You can hear the skittering and all the sounds from a distance. Thank God that the trains are disabled. This could have made our lives easier. I mean, why would the trains still be running when there's giant insects in the tunnels? They can get electrocuted to death. That... That's actually true. The third rail would electrocute them. That's true, actually. Huh. Did you just blow yourself up again? Spider corpse ah. blew me up. Ah. This is how I handle spiders in my house. Buckshot. Not literally, Chad. I don't use a shotgun for spiders. What I do when I see a spider is I burn the entire house down. <laughs> the spiders own the house now. Best burn it to be sure. <laughs> If I can't have the house, neither can you. I'll just shoot at the at the ceiling. Wait, 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 Inu, have you seen the um? 
Have you seen the video of the guy who finds a cockroach and like burns it like to smith to ash with like an acetylene torch? Yeah, I saw it. And like, as Badger said, just straight up reduces it to atoms. You know, I'm glad that we have no giant cockroaches. Our weapons would have been fucked. Yeah, cockroaches would have been invincible. But like I said, in EDF5, we have pill bugs, so... And before, and before they actually bring cockroaches, but they're like uncontrollable bees that even the aliens can't control. I mean, that would be kind of funny, honestly. I mean, there are pr plenty of cut insects that were going to be in EDF games, like butterflies were originally going to be in the game, but those were cut. I, 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 like, you, I, you, you do know yeah, why, but you do know why butterflies would have been scary, right? Because of, they can literally suck your. Yeah, they can suck all the liquid out of your bike. Good, you know why. Good. Where'd you I, learn? I saw, uh, I saw that from an uh, anime called The Giant uh, Island. Oh of Giant God, you! Oh God, Inu! You, you I seen... didn't see it. I didn't see it. Yeah, I was about I to say. Saw, I saw a, a kill count of it because I don't care about that. Thank God, I was about to say you've seen Island of the Giant Insects. Why? What's wrong with you? I don't watch anime anymore. I just look at death counts because funny number go up. Okay. Listen, for anyone who doesn't know what I'm talking about, there's an anime called Island of the Giant Insects, which is basically Honey, I Shrunk the Kids R-rated edition. Do not, and this is not a joke, this is Zaruk warning you guys, do not watch that anime. Do not, unless you want to be traumatized. Do not watch that anime. Do not. The, 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 I think, like, my worst fear was the tick scene. And what about the, uh, you know, about the bot flies? No, the bot fly, no. I, like, I'm generally telling you, I had a tick invasion in my house. Oh. So, yeah. I, I'm telling you, ticks are the worst. Yeah, they are. Being that, that tick thing literally gave me PTSD. Yeah. But the parasites, the butterflies, just everything about that. The bot fly that, larva. Oh, no, no, like... Fuck that, though. Like, yeah. seriously. For those who don't know why we're talking about that, in the show, one thing about about butterflies, in real life, butterflies just need liquid to survive. Doesn't matter what kind, they just need liquid. So, in the anime, when uh, one of the characters comes across a butterfly, they're like, oh, it's harmless, it's a butterfly. The butterfly's proboscis then stabs into the character and literally sucks them dry like a Capri Sun pack. So... You're welcome for that image. And again, Inu and I are telling you, are both telling you, do not, like, Inu's only seen the death count, but I'm sure he'll back me up. Don't watch it. Don't watch and, it. It, and it has really bad, like, I'm not even gonna say it. The anime is just straight up sometimes a hentai. Yeah, it, it is. It is sometimes, yeah. It's basically, uh, it's called torture porn. Like, it's literally just meant to be, like, how painful and torturous can we make this and get away with it? Think of it like Corpse Party. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like Corpse Party. And, and here's the thing, I only seen, I never played Corpse Party, I'm never gonna play it, but I like the premise of an endless loop in Corpse Party, right? Yeah. Because it just, you know, like, yeah, one character's completely aware of it, but everything else is like, no, 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 let's, let's do it, I promise. We're not gonna die of painful, horrible death. Please don't do it for the sake of my sanity. Does it anyway. Yep. But I don't really like torture porn, that stuff, because... As somebody who is very like extremely squeamish to stuff to stuff like that, yeah, I don't yeah, think any no. sane I don't think any sane person likes that. He knew. I know somebody who's completely desensitized of it and just laughs at it. I mean, you can get desensitized to violence, but like that kind of violence, I don't know. Yes. Yeah, and course party is a whole level of just gross. Yeah, there's a whole big pile of nope. A can a can worn of lollies getting killed gruesomely. All right, we gotta head down even deeper. Let's go. Were there many casualties? And before there's a fucking giant tarantula. Oh the god, red the ants! 
The red ants are tougher. They can take more damage, and they will charge you. So watch out. So they're so they're bulls. Yeah, basically yes. Well, no wonder they'd be pissed. They only see red. And again, like I said, in real life, red ants are ven are like have venom because that's what causes them to be fire ants. But in this, they don't. Oh, I'm I'm almost out of ammo. Yeah, careful with your ammo. I only have like 40 shots left. Also, if you hear guys screaming for help, that's because they're stuck in the thing's jaws and they need help. Uh, and me shoots a rocket at a horde of ants. That was impressive! It's like Starship Troopers, but cheesier. Thank God the ants don't breathe fire. These ants don't. <laughs> These ants don't. Uh, in earlier games, none of the modern ones, but in the earlier EDF games, they did breathe fire. That's... That's insane. Well, we did it, Zaruk! Yep. We did it! We saved the world! They <laughs> drop jumps into the pit. Hmm. So, okay, so, a trap. The infiltration was a success, but we're greatly outnumbered, so our casualties could be high. The enemy's on familiar ground, after all, which gives them the edge. Expect an attack at any moment while you're in the nest. Try to oh. use the terrain to your advantage. I got a volcano. I believe that's a rocket launcher. Rocket launcher! The missile launcher is not that great, honestly. No, it has to lock on to things. That's the problem. Well, I am going to go to the volcano. I don't have any of the flame grenades, so I'm going to use my... Uh, I'm going to get my flamethrower. You're going to be glad you have it, and that I have it. Especially for this one. Deploying. So, um... Just to point out what's happening, uh, the attack was a failure. Most of the units have been wiped out because we don't know the the terrain. It's a mortar-like cave. We were attacked here. We'll be killed. Enemies! Here they come! By the way, there's no way out, so stand your ground. In other words, um, the current objective: survive. survive. Yes. Oh, these rockets are slow. Well, I'm pretty sure they pack a punch. Yes, they do. I'll just aim at top and hope for the best. The nice thing about all those rockets is it lights up the cave so we can see everything. Alright, hold on. I have to look up the Battle Hymn of the EDF to see what comes next. Because it gets more depressing. Um, oh, I remember. Our friends were all killed yesterday, as were our families. We may not make it facing... Uh, we may not make it through facing all these atrocities. But we will... Um, listen, we'll never drop our banner despite our casualties. The EDF deploys... Got spiders! Yep. It's the second wave. Brace yourself. Ordinarily, the smart thing to do would be for everyone to form a circle. So, there's nothing, like, nothing can get behind you, but this is the AI. They're not smart enough to do that. That wouldn't just you know one giant spider just crush us all if they're smart. Mm. Well, that's why you got people looking up too. So wait a minute, there's a way up. Yeah, but if you go up there, you're gonna be by yourself. You know what? Tell so plays, I love her. Oh boy. I'm not afraid anymore. For the planet. Oh, For boy. the cutest. 
Good grief, Inu. Do I have to pull your ass out of everything? <laughs> just joins me in the fray. Yeah, it just chases you so you don't get yourself killed. <laughs> Careful with those that. rockets. You're killing our people. Well... Journey, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Forest of Memories. Mm. Um, two days ago, my brother died. Next day, my lover fell. Um, today, most everyone was killed. On that, we must not dwell. But we will never leave the Surprise, field. Surprise, motherfucker. We will never leave the field. We'll never say farewell. V E D F F deploy. Anyway, welcome, Ice Bear's Journey. I'm Zaruk Windcaller. This is my friend Inu Kazune, and we are playing EDF 4.1, Shadow of New Despair. Inu is new to EDF, and I decided we'd uh, basically, well, throw him into the deep end and let him play this. I've been having a crap ton of fun. I don't want to be alone in a place like this. How's that? What do you mean, uh, Fountain? Yeah. Stop that depressing shit! Yeah, Cataclysm's right. Like, in the game, as EDF 4.1 goes on, the more depressing parts that I've been singing, the soldiers will sing that and officers will say, Stop that depressing shit! To get him to stop. And yes, there is one more verse. But someone has to redeem it. Hmm. But the last verse is the best one. In my opinion. Alright. Giant robots. Uh, the Ravagers Combat Hectors have entered a residential area. Some EDF units have already engaged them in battle, but a new group of Hectors has arrived, surrounding our soldiers. They're sitting ducks out there. Please go rescue them. Select a mission. All right. Simple enough. Let me get Choose my loadout. powerful Rangers weapons. Can equip two weapons. Interesting. There it is. A legendary hero soon will lead us to glory. Eight years ago, he sunk the mothership, says history. Tomorrow, we will follow this brave soul to victory. The EDF deploys. That's the end of the song. Um, and of course, they're talking about uh, they're talking about the main character. So. I think I'm gonna go for a full twelve hour stream today. Mm. Got one more hour to do this. I mean if you're having fun, it's worth it. Yep. Alright. Eh. Metal slug, ready for deployment. Go mini missiles. Oof. Oof. Back versus back, let's go! Go, mini missiles. Why don't we have giant robots? Inu has a giant, has a robot. He's right there. In his metal slug. There we Very go. Very effective indeed. All right, go help out Dino. I'm going to pick up the crates. See if I can't deal with some of the outskirt, uh, the outliers. Go, mini missiles. One of them is down. They're dropping a lot of stuff, too. I'm seeing armor and weapons. Nice. Uh, Delta Zero asks if you're having fun in your metal slug, Inu. Yes, I am. Look at me go. Already destroyed. Jeez. Okay. I'm suction cup man. Look at me go. 
Look at me go! Why my tower? Why not your tower? Why my mech? Why not your mech? Yeah, why not your mech? This is Ranger 29. Cause you're Come smudging in. all of me. You're smudging my beautiful mech! Now I'm just imagining the EDF command looking at Inu. Wait, why are you taking our mech? Why not your mech? <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna go grab the stuff and deploy another mech. Da 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 da, suction cup man! <laughs> hey, I wrote you a song! <laughs> yeah. It goes like this! Da da da, use a bitch! <laughs> yeah. Da da da, use a bitch! Oh, yes, a bitch, a bitch, a yeah, bitch, a bitch, a bitch, a Why my miss? Why my missile? Why not your missile? Look at, look at this thriller looking ass. Look at this He's photograph. Dead. Delta says, I'm glad we all share a brain cell. <laughs> <laughs> you see, that's the thing. The brain cell's on loan, so it's like whoever claims it first. And the warranty already expired, so your mileage may vary. Ow. 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 Yeah, there's a... Hey, Inu, could you get the one behind me, please? I'm out of rockets. Oh. Oh my I'm god! Just... Why am I what ha what happened? Ow! Ow. So I just got the... de I just got Dragon Ball Z'd into like, I don't know, about five blocks and it slammed into a building. I'm alive and nothing is broken somehow. We should just all summon the mechs and kill these robots. The mechs are running- the Hectors are running away from my mini-missiles. That is hilarious. So they're like, no, 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 no! No, 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 no! Wait, 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 No, 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 no! Wait, 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 wait! Wait, 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 wait! They're also running away from my mech, too. Yeah, they're running away from the mech stomping toward them. No, 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 no! I'm coming! <laughs> yeah, no, 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 fuck, 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 it's the protagonist. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> sounds about right. One down, two more to go. Or four more to go. Now I'm just... Mm. Now I'm just imagining Inu, like, mm. I'm imagining a Hector seeing you from a distance with an airstrike smoke grenade and they're like no 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 wait 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 <laughs> and you throw it at their feet wait 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 skabarabadapa <laughs> here i come yep. swiggity spooty i'm coming for the booty skibidi do slumber all oh, that brother gone there we go uh, let's get all the but boxes. Oh, no, get all the boxes yeah, before we go after the last one. I think Dino's closest to the last one. Oh my goodness. Hmm. Kalantha says, I'm looking disrespectfully at that mech. I mean, it is pretty thick, honestly. Not thicker than so, that's for sure. Oh no, of course not. Um, the mechs would get a bit of an upgrade in the next game. They actually look like, you know, rather than being squat, they would actually look like mechs. Anyway, summit ship. We confirmed enemy transport ships over the mountains. They appear to have dropped shield bearers. Fuck that. Select a mission. I'm not we're not fighting shield bearers. No. I got a I got a coastal missile. A, oh, a I A coastal ready. missile. Yeah. That's basically a cruise missile. You'll have to keep the laser beam on the target a long time, but well, it's basically a mini nuke. So, um yeah. Let's see. Um you know what? You want to use that coastal missile? Let's go here. 
Okay. Oh, no, not Wing Diver. I want to play as uh, Air Raider. So, here's the D. Um, uh, you said uh, AH Coastal Missile. Oh, it's four shots. Wait, is it which one is it? Is it large coastal missile or AH coastal missile? Which is it? AH coastal missile. Okay, it's four missiles basically. It's a missile bar uh, a missile barrage. Mm. Extremely effective if you use it correctly. I am so ready. Choose loadout. I know you are. Air Raiders can equip two weapons and one vehicle. I hope that your chat has been clued with some of this ridiculousness that's been happening. Choose loadout. Right, I got around Air 40 more minutes. Two weapons mm -hmm. and one vehicle. Hmm. Yeah. Alright. Let's roll. Alright, Dino, you ready? All right, so we skipped a few Let's missions. Let's do this. We skipped a few missions so we could get here. Um, basically, mm, there's a horde of red ants coming, and we've set up a fire line to stop them. So uh, yeah, if you want to call in your things, now's the time. But wait, it, wait a minute, stop! If you don't see a circle in the distance, it means they're not in range yet. So okay. wait till you see a circle. And remember, try not to move it too much. I'll get the left, you get the center. Right. And you gotta keep holding it till all the missiles hit. All four dots. Oh my goodness! I love the smell of napalm in the morning. I'm literally eating chips as we speak. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the nice thing is, if you kill enough of them, you can just call in another one. Yep. Enemy cross me, go enemy above! Yeah. Ah! Boom! Boom! There we go. Well, that was easy. Uh, there's still some left. Also, you're, we need to get on the beach now. Follow me. Let's go! And the reason I say that is because uh, they're going to come behind us now. Oh, are they now? You didn't think it would be that easy, did you? Th maybe. <laughs> you fool. It's never that easy. There's no such thing as a milk run. I'm gonna go... Dude, look at all those green chests over there. Yeah, and look at the radar. That's why I said get on the beach. I'm just gonna walk backwards and hold in the middle. Hold of this button takes a, a lot. <laughs> They're coming out of the water too. Watch out. I'm grabbing a lot of the green crates and the armor crates. All right, I'm just gonna. How many missiles does this, is this thing carrying? Actually, you know what? I don't care. <laughs> so, so places just like fl uh, like flicking the missile. Actually, that would be funny if she's just like yeeting the missiles like javelins for fun. Yeah. Meanwhile, Inu Blaze is like, be careful with those. You might hit somebody. And Zo and again, like the joke was made earlier, if you're not willing to fire on yourself, you're not willing to win. 
All right, I'd lay off the missiles for a bit so we can pick up the uh, the drops. Uh, this game is so great. I love it. Just wait till you get the uh, wait till you get the twenty missile barrage. Oh, there's more 20. of them. Yo, there's more of them. Good, more target practice. Good. Good. Our first, you know what? Ca our first catch of the day. I'll get the right. You get the uh, you get the left of them. All right. I'm just going towards. Here they come. Ah, look at all the beautiful pieces. We're killing ants, man. That's why I'm happy. They're getting a little close. They are. Just right there. They're all grouping up. Hit them. Eat this, you red bastards! <laughs> EDF! 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 Sentry guns, go! Still plenty more to hit. I'm gonna drop a, a tank. Work those missile tubes. Well, Dino oh, Wizard Dino's got caught. in trouble. There we go. There's All right, let's get, let's get, over the there. get the boxes. Quick, get as many boxes as you can. Before it's too late. I don't have to sign anything. <laughs> How does it look? Was that a hit? Yes, there's nothing left. Thank you. This whole level is basically just a way to test out your weapons, basically. This is where you should come if you want to test out your new gear. Oh, this level. Oh, this will be fun. Yeah, Inu, Inu right now is that meme of Elmo smiling at a nuclear explosion. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, I'm just going to tell you, uh, it, for this one, I don't think it really matters what you bring. Choose uh, you're not, you're not going to need it. You'll see. I'll see. It will all make sense. For you see, Inu, early, like the first time we played this last week, I had you take the mech out and fight the giant, uh, the giant dinosaur, or giant kaiju. Now you're going to meet the kaiju for the first time in the timeline. We jumped ahead a lot so you could fight the kaiju. This is where he first shows up. So. When Inu, when Inu bees, uh, becomes big for the first time, comes rising out of the water. Oh, what a nice bath. And then everyone shoots at him. Which, by the way, uh, that's not going to stop this guy. That's the entire reason the the uh, the what, the Balam was de uh, is deployed because uh, yeah, none of the weapons will stop him. Midnight's on the way. So to start, we need to take out the transports. But thankfully, midnight is here, and the grind busters are going to punch right through the thing. I like the fact that the ship looks like a... Actually, looks like a game console. It does, doesn't it? It looks like a Dreamcast. I'll take care of the ants. Whoa! The bridge! Move forward and exterminate the enemy. Turn, gentlemen. Yes, sir. Run him out. 
How you doing? We're currently killing giant insects. Wait, Nio has betrayed us. What do you mean, Raleigh? Oh, oh, I know what you mean. No, this is um, mm -mm. this isn't Nile. This is and this is not even one of her descendants or family members. This is some. This is a different species. Don't worry about it. This is an alien. Say that, but I'm pretty sure half of the human race is gone already. Oh, that's later on. They say half of the human race has been wiped out. Hey, look on the bright side. No more inflation. Oh yeah, as if the econ yeah Inu, as if the economy matters when 3.5 billion people are dead. <laughs> I guess that's a good positive spin on it. Yeah, half the world's population is dead, but hey, at least the economy will be all right. I'm shooting right at him! These poor spiders are getting spawn camped! Who cares? They're spiders. Transport ship destroyed. Just like how the spiders think that they have a standing chance with my mech. Dino, there's a box behind you. Yeah, I'll get it. Alright, one more trip. Oh, that's a lot of boxes. Yep. Return to headquarters. But well, that one just Ranger flew team, off. Come back, come back here. I'm not done with you. One more transport to get. And then uh, uh, you, then you get to uh, meet Urginus. Let's take it down. Urginus. Yeah, Urginus. Who's basically just as Badger said, he's basically nondescript Godzilla. Yeah, Delta, hey, they're solving the unemployment problem. Oh my god. All right, if that's how you guys want to put a positive spin on, like, you know, my brother in Christ, you are witnessing our extinction. Also, Inu, that's not going to work. The missiles are going to hit the dropship. Yeah, if the drop, if, remember, if there's something above them, the missiles can't hit them. Whoa! My poor mech, I just spawned it in and it's dead. Seems to have broken through. And it's coming here now? Great. Attention all units. Danger. Danger. A new species of giant creature is headed your way. Oh, that almost that ant almost grabbed me, but it grabbed Dino. See? This is what happens when you're big, Dino. You're a bigger target. <laughs> We got to get under that thing and destroy it. Else we're just yeah, going to keep let, having... Let, let, let me get my mech here. Let's do this. At least the hitbox is not that finicky. Yeah, the, yeah, the hitboxes are pretty good. This is the end! Ha! Nice. Few ants left. Goodbye, goodbye, everybody. Oh no. <laughs> I was trying to be dramatic there it for is. the film. Too big. Too big. This is what we Oh! Prepare to attack. He's good as dead already. How can we? You want to let that thing run around loose? Then let's put him down. So you can make him bleed, but you can't kill him. Basically, just 
Wow, okay, listen, cousin, you gotta stop throwing a temper tantrum. This is not how you solve your problems. Oh, he's drinking the McDonald's Sprite. Watch out. Oh, God. Ooh, that was close. Oh, cousin, you wanna give me a hug? He knew it. He... If he lands on top of you, it does critical damage. Well, he didn't do any damage. This is insane. Fire! I got I got stepped we on. Moving toward land, we built a defense line on the coast, but it broke straight through like it didn't even notice. From there, it went right for the city. So far, it looks like its hide is natural armor, too tough for any of our weapons. That can't be true. We keep hitting it over and over, but no matter what we do, it just doesn't make a scratch. Whoa! 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 Okay. I, I, I'm legit just looking at, at him doing a rampage. You're not helping? I don't have anything else. No, nothing is reloading for me. Oh, right, because all your weapons are calling. Okay, well. Because it doesn't stop until a timer runs out, or you just do enough fake damage to it. So he, we're technically are still doing damage, but... He d literally gets bored and leaves. No, I, I'm gonna say this. I don't know about you, but this got this kaiju doesn't look that menacing. It actually looks kind of cute. Well, that's because it's a baby. This is not the full-grown version. This specific rim all over again. Uh! I I have fired like 30 105 how uh, millimeter howitzer rounds into this thing. How is it not? Come on, EDF. Uh oh. Oh God. Tank's got no rounds in it. I'm, I know, but it's my only way. Oh, he's drinking the McDonald's stuff. Sprite. No! Look at my turrets go! Get him, boys! Those are my boys. Okay, I think he's bored. Uh-oh. No, he's not! No, he's not! Right that we can't use, like, the self-destruct on the max to cause damage, like, in Metal Slug. It's walking away yep. Like nothing happened. There it is. He's bored. I still don't believe it. There is no such thing as an unkillable monster. You're right, that's why we need the, the Geiger cannon. Is now designated or have Zoblaze grab him, like hurl him into the atmosphere. That would work too. Yep. Alright, we got time for one more, I think. 
Yes, we do. High speed. High capacity flying drones called Reds have invaded the city. They seem more advanced than what we fought. So we're up on the roofs, on the roof, basically. So bring sniper rifles and rocket launchers. Okay, so I have to switch to gunner. Yeah, you're gonna want to uh, play as a as a ranger on this one. Choose loadout. Rangers can equip. Oh, well, I'm gonna use a stinger. Choose loadout. Rangers can equip two weapons. Deploying. All right, let's go. All right, so, yes, uh, we're up on the roof with a sniper team engaging these things. These guys can take a lot more damage, um, and they're a lot faster, but they drop more goodies if you kill, when you kill them, so. <sighs> I'm almost, I need one more follower to reach a, a 270. Somebody go follow Inu right now Italy, in my easier. chat. Thank you for the follow! Uh, Delta Zero, enjoy your stay here. Thanks, we Delta. reach another. We reach a follower goal. Let's go! Tough SOBs. Would you believe me if I told you these are the only guys in the mission? I believe it because I heard Bullet Sponge. For now. Later on, we'll have better stuff. It's called the power of a red painting. Just red, like above Warhammer. Red ones go faster! God, my friend explained me that about the lore of Warhammer, and I'm like, that sounds stupid, and I fucking love that. Mm, that's that's dumb as hell. I love it. You see, you see, Raptor Boy, red goes faster, blue is lucky, gold is gold is rich, boys. Because that's all all orc colors mean something different. Purple is sneaky, because have you ever seen a purple orc? No. Mm-hmm. Exactly. I'm dead. I'll come get you. Hang on. You just keep singing. I'll come find you. There you go. Okay, the sniper rifle I grab ain't the greatest. Alright, another one down. Just three left. Woo! Nice. Another one down. Another one down. Nice. That one, that one just went fly. You saw that? Yeah, grab their stuff. Hurry. When the radio broadcast ends where the mission will end, grab all the stuff you can. Quick, quick, quick. I'm going, I'm going. Come on, Inu. Make it, make it. Okay, I grabbed it. Nice. All right. And next time is mission thirty, Bloody Mountain. Yeah, so. I'm. I'm gonna go raid somebody. So uh, I had a lot of fun today. Yeah. Oh, like legit. Yeah. And yeah. by the way, the next big grind mission, which actually I like to think this will be your um, mm, your first true test, is mission thirty one, Operation Brute Force. So. Ooh. And uh, it's probably one of the... It's literally... Let me put it this way. It is literally the early game killer. Because if you can't survive this mission, you won't survive the later missions, basically. So difficulty ramps up. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's going to do... We're going to go raid somebody too. But thank you very this much, Inu. I appreciate it. You can join say, and same to you. I had a crap ton of fun. And thank you, Dinah, for joining us. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to go raid uh, Whiskey Dingo. Um, okay, big streamer. All right, well, I will talk to you later. See you later, bud. See you later.
All right, everybody. Well, we're not going to go raid. Mm. We're not going to go raid anyone big, but I do want to go raid somebody. So let's see who's available. One of the things about raiding big streamers is sometimes they don't notice. So I would like, and I like to give support to the small folk. So let's see who is available. Um, let's see. Who is available? Let me see. Hmm. See, uh, hmm. Let's go say hi to, um, hmm. Let's go say hi to, uh, to Mama Cow Trixie. She's playing, uh, let's see. Yeah, she's playing Monster Hunter Rise. That should be interesting. Um, always good to give support to, uh, people playing, uh, Monster Hunter. So, we're gonna do that. Let's see, right there. And let me get this set up. Again, big thank you to you guys for coming around and checking this out. Remember, tomorrow is Ghost Recon Breakpoint with Niall. Uh, and even if she's not available, we'll play it anyway. So, I'm going to get this raid started. It's been an honor and a privilege to entertain all of you. I hope you all had a great time. I'm Zaruk Windcaller, and remember, the memories we make in life, good and bad, make us who we are. Don't change them for anything. All right, see you guys tomorrow. Have a great night. Love you all. And remember, the EDF deploys and always stands. Bye-bye!